tell you guys, I am so hyped right now. I know nobody's on yet. I'm about to give y'all some music. Look, I got mad people hit me up. I'm about to jump. I'm about to bump a little music real quick. My new single just came out today. What is the four to five defense? I just want to say, I want to give a shout out to Bruce Lee. He said, boards don't hit back. You guys remember that shit. You karate ass MFs. Boards don't hit back. I got to bump this track real quick and everyone get started. Uh, you guys know I got Mike jumping on. Mike Steves. And I apologize, Mike. I always see, say Mike Stevens. It's probably his tequila, man. What up, CJ? Man, I love you guys. I see. I've been waiting to post this. I skipped school again today. Let me tell you something right now. I had a discussion with seven video editors and producers, and we were discussing, like, what the hell am I spending $6,000 every 10 weeks for when I learn more off of YouTube than I do at school? So, interesting. It's your boy, Director Chill, Seven TV. Oh, Mike Steve, you're there. Uh... Oh, no, 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 Mike, you're good. I'm going to set the tone. My boy, my boy, Mike Steves, and I apologize if you saw the video earlier. I said Mike Stevens is a tequila. Sometimes I fuck up with that shit. Um, but Mike Steves, he is a defensive-minded person. I'm an offensive guy, so. Um, but I wanted his input. Me and Mike have been talking back and forth all morning, and I actually watched some of the Louisiana Tech video of their defense. I'm not even going to lie to you. I feel like I'm a smart guy, but I actually was kind of confused. So we're going to use the expert, Mike, because Mike knows and he's actually coached his boys in actually how to play. So we're going to get up here. I'm going to play a little track for you guys. You guys know, uh, if you guys do not know, my name is Calvin Capone, um, director Chill, which is Calvin Hill. But uh, I had a new single come out today. It's called Pimpin' Ain't Dead. They just moved to the web. <laughs> so I'm going I'm to bump a little music and then we're going to get started. Um a little bit of that. Let let everybody know who does not know. Welcome to Slapping TV. My name is Director Shill. Um, please like, subscribe, comment. Oh, if you guys don't know, this is an LED light, so it looks crazy, but it looks like whatever oh, damn ET phone. Oh. I got magic in my hands. That's really what it is. Imagine touching your girl with this. E.T. Fun Hall. <laughs> Nathan, we are going to discuss that. It's kind of interesting, uh, Nathan. So I was telling everybody that I really didn't know what a 425 was. And you guys let me know if I'm too loud or too low. I can always make adjustments. Um, there we go. Um, uh, I honestly thought that a 4-3, the difference between a 4-3 and a 425 was that you pull a linebacker out and you bring an extra safety. <clears throat> but that's not exactly the truth. Uh, what up, Miami Heat? You on the road? You had to work today? I skipped school today. I ain't going to lie. You guys, if things keep going the way they are, God's been blessing me so much. I will probably not finish my degree. I got a new business partner. Not for the YouTube stuff, but I got a new business partner for my video editing. Um, and so who knows? Last year was a year of yes for me. I literally said yes to every opportunity that was presented my way. It was a photo shoot, video shoot, a job. Uh, I quit my job at the restaurant. Um, and my wife, my wife, you guys see my beautiful lady. She actually was the one who was like, you know what? Do what you do. I love what you do. Not only that, she wanted me to get out of the restaurant business. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, Miami Heat. You got 550 horsepower. What are you driving? Miami Heat, are you a basketball player? You're LeBron James. I freaking knew it. 550. What do you got? A uh, Corvette with an LS engine in it? I am a car guy, if you guys have not seen. Oh, a semi? Hey, and they run up my father in law, my wife's um, father, which is kind of crazy. Well, fiance, we get married in October. He is a truck driver as well, and we have the same birthday. And then my fiance and my mom have the same birthday, which was yesterday. You talking about creepy? That's just kind of creepy. We're going to get started here soon. So um, let me start some those. Yes, I'm lighting my tobacco smoke. I wish, man, you know what? Can someone, can someone email me some green or something? That's if you like cannabis. I know it's not 
illegal in every state, but uh, it still is in Georgia. But I will take it. You can email it right to me, or you can message me to email it. That would be dope. <laughs> um, we're gonna pull up if you guys do not know. Um, Miami Hurricane News, our new defensive coordinator was the defensive coordinator at Louisiana Tech. They run a four to five defense. So, look, it's gonna be one of those episodes where I keep turning my head. Boogie's still in the room, please. Now, yeah, she don't want to listen, and then wife's at work, so. Um. So yes, so a four-two-five defense. Um, it's not what you guys think. It's not what I thought. If you guys have called football, feel free. You know, I like that Super Song set. If the Super Songs come back, I'm gonna be the first YouTuber. I'm gonna run the market. I'm dead serious. I'm gonna run the market on the Super Songs. Anyhow, um, but it's not what you think. I know you think four down defensive linemen, two linebackers five dbs but not necessarily and mike is going to touch on that he actually will be calling in and we're going to have a nice oh i'm oh, sorry that was not mike that was uh another one the aiu guys that go to school with so we're gonna if you guys do not know defensive end joe jackson decided he was going to go to the league so we do not have number 99 he's gone anybody sad mad happy don't give a fuck um, Nathan said, uh, I think we still run a four, three, <clears throat> Nathan, I'm going to dive into that. So I'm not going to say yes or no. And the reason why is because like I said, that four, two, five is a little more difficult than what you think. Um, and Mike just said, if anybody knows anything about the four two five, my high school ran a four three, and then my middle school, which was actually a really good middle school, the high school, the middle school that I would have went to before my my parents moved to the suburbs, they actually ran a five two. So you had four down defensive linemen, and then I actually was a defensive end, and I floated in the stand up position. So I floated like that. I might be on the right side. I might be on the left side. So, but this four two five is interesting. I think a lot of you guys won't even realize how interesting it is. We're gonna get into the teams um, that run it. We're gonna get into the different uh, way it looks. I actually watched the I watched the uh, Louisiana Tech game today um, versus Hawaii, which was their bowl game. Uh, what up, sound alarm? What's happening? Um, and I also watched the Louisiana Tech versus LSU game again. And I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not the man that's going to act like he knows everything. I think someone smart said, if you're the smartest man in the room, you're in the wrong effing room. Can I say fucking wrong fucking room? So I'm not going to act like I'm the smartest man. I'm a, I'm an offensive guy. I know quarterback. I know receiver. Those are the two positions that I specialize in in college and high school. So. What up, sound alarm? <clears throat> you guys, if you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment. If I am too loud, let me know. If I'm too low, let me know. If you guys do not know who you're talking to, my name is Director Shu, and this is Slapping TV. We like to have a lot of fun. We have a lot of good time. I actually had to get off the phone with um, a business partner of mine because I was like, hey, I'm about to go uh, live. Oh, so what's the news? The news is... Uh, and I'm gonna ask this not just to sound the alarm, but does anybody know what a four-two-five defense is about? What up, Jimmy? Hey, <clears throat> Jimmy Hurricane, you bones. Hey, you guys, let me tell you something. Jimmy Hurricane, you bones is trying to start his page. Um, if you guys have not, just go over and like subscribe. It's not gonna hurt you for you to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell. I'm going to help him get some content up. He wants to do some stuff. I'm going to, He's actually going to be another frequent caller on my show. There's a couple of you guys that call in all the time, and you know because I actually have you saved in my phone. Um, like I told you guys, if you hear any news before I do, please feel free to text me. I'm not going to go Alonzo on you. are not going to say don't message me at 1 o'clock in the morning or whatever. No, I'm not that guy. My phone goes on silent. Uh, me and my wife have a rule that we make sure that the last hour – before we go to sleep and the hour that we wake up, it's no social media. We're not going to be reactors, but I do appreciate all the information. 
info. So Mike messaged me, I think at 7.05. I got up at like 10 or I, I got back to him at 10. Me and Mike talked back and forth for like an hour. He he told me some stuff. So I don't claim to know everything. So if you guys hear something, text me, call me. I'll even put my stuff in chat. Um, I'm going to put my number in a second, but I know for a fact my first call is going to be Mike because I need his expertise on the 425. Has anybody in chat, uh, have you guys ran? Hold on, let me stop real quick. I got I got all caps. If you guys put all caps in, in uh, the chat, it will catch my eye because I'm a skip reader. Um, CJ Miami said, I'm happy for Jackson. Uh, I will keep up with Pro Canes. I mean, I love Miami Pro Canes. I wish he would stay. But am I mad that he's going? No, get your money, man. If you got to support your freaking family, man, you get that money. Okay? I'm doing this. I put up my stuff in chat. All right. Mike is calling in. We're going to get a little chit-chat. Mike is going to break it down. Hold on. Hold on. This is my guy, Mike. Yo. Mike, what's happening? How was work, man? Let me start off with that one. Oh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I couldn't wait for you, uh, wait for your call. I don't think a lot of people know a lot about the 425, and I told you I watched it and I was confused. So, um, yeah, let, let's break break it down for the fans. Honestly, if you sit back and look at it, it's just disgusting. Like, it's just like you said, it's disguised 4 three. Now it gets a little bit more technical than later on in the game. But like when I coached my boys in high school and little league, I still win the 425. But what I would do is I make it a base. You know what I mean? I make it basically a 4 3, and I have a second safety down at like five to six yards off the ball. Now, here's where it gets tricky. If you watch what it is, is basically, say for example, we have, let's go twins right, two back, uh, let's go a, a twin set. You know what a twin okay. set is? A two back, no tight end, yeah. three wide receiver. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know what that is. All right. So we go full on a 20 set. You know what I mean? Two, three, two receivers on the left, one receiver on the right. Okay. And so we're in right now, we're strong left. Mm -hmm. Now, for example, they'll have the mic play the middle, they'll have the shooter, basically. You can call it whatever you want the shooter or whatever the that's hell you the, That's the striker, right? right? For anybody that doesn't know, yeah. that's, that's what we call the striker. Okay, okay, go ahead. The striker, I, I, you can call it whatever you want. Really. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Um, the striker, what they're going to do is they're going to play on the slot. But they're going to play at least a yard or two in. Their main read, read is the run. So they're they're guarding the tight end and then the run. So they're they're the inside guy. No, we're in a 2 here. We're in a, we're in a 20 set. Okay, okay, okay. Second. I got you. I got you. All right. Yeah. All right. They, they re, read, react the run first, make uh, sure it's not a run, and then they go into coverage. Or, ooh. in the of the blitz, you'll always notice that the striker is always off the DN's ass. So now you have a, now you're having a tackle go try to block a DN and a, a striker. A blitzer. That gives a lot of momentum up with, um, Confusion to the quarterback, it gives off bad passes. You know what I mean? Hopefully, we get the sack, and if it gets the bad pass, and hopefully, we get the pick. You know what I mean? So, that's one. And here's another thing that we're, you're probably going to see. Okay. All right. So, you're going to have Quarterman in the middle. Uh, mm -hmm. Quarterman, right? Yeah, yeah, Quarterman, you got it. He's going to be our Mike. Yeah. And Prince, Prince he's probably going to be our, our Will. Okay. Weak side. Okay. And Yes. Now, what you're going to see is, so say we're still in the 20 set with the two receivers on the left. Um, Quarterman's going to be on the left. And our striker's going to be on the left. And our strong safety's going to be on the left. And here's where it gets, you'll notice where we we protect that back side. Our strong DN and our strong defensive tackle will play the side. Okay. So, so our weaker defensive tackle and our weaker defensive end will be on the strong side because you had all of your strong players to that side. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Now, do you do you think that and, and I asked you this earlier and I want you to say it for everybody in chat. Um the striker position, I just say striker because I like the way it sounds, but um is it mainly a 
man to man coverage position or does he blitz or does he just sit in zone? Does he ever sit in zone? It sounds like he shouldn't sit in zone. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you watch some of the film, he definitely run a cover three, cover two, cover four, um, cover four, cover two man, cover, cover two man blitz. There's multiple things that you can run. Okay. You know what I mean? You can still call all the same plays as if you were in the four three. The thing is, is the striker is basically all it is is putting a teaching a getting a linebacker safety slash safety. That's all it is, bro. You're so, adding in that and taking out McLeod. So, so what, 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 what do you think would be the better? Um, uh, and I had to say skilled player for this position, but. Um, do you think it's better to have a safety at the striker position or have a fast well, linebacker? Like I said, I, brought, I said this yesterday. Um, Figueroa, figure number 30. Yep. I would put him there. He's okay. our one, he, he's our best cover linebacker, and he's fast, and the kids are fastest linebacker. So I would play him in that position. Because if you sit back and think about it, like you said, Joe Jackson's leaving. Yeah. But Pinsky down at the end, have McLeod and have McLeod weak side, Quarterman Mike. Now you have four fucking linebackers that's number 30 is the safety, and you're still in the 4 2 five. So that's so interesting, and, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm apologize you right there. As, as I was telling everybody, the 4 3, I. Only thing, and I told Mike this earlier. Only thing I know about four three is or four two five is I've only seen it on college football. I know, uh, and I mean the video game. Uh, I ran my team, my defense ran four three. We played against our rivals, which is the school that Justin Fields went to, Harrison High School. They ran a four four when I was there. I know uh, five two because I ran it at Wheeler High School in Marietta, and then I know nickel and dime. So I didn't really, I wasn't really sure if you just grab that middle linebacker and move him out the way and then bring him to the safety. So that's why I had I wanted Mike no, to, to break it in break it down for you guys. Now, just because we put 30 out, like for example mm -hmm. with our defense and everything that I just stated of where we're going to, where I feel we should put players. Mm -hmm. um, say we put 30 in the slot. That doesn't make him just a strike. That would be too easy to recognize every play. Facts. The, so. the striker would change every time you know what i mean for example this defense that we had this year could make jackson our number four jack jackson right uh i'm looking at right so, yeah yeah jaquan jack johnson johnson yeah, jackson, yeah. I'm sorry, I, 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 I always get the jacksons four. and johnson's mixed up anyway so yeah you're right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. number four really jaquan know. johnson but no like they can turn him into the striker you could put uh red wine at striker and multiple players, because our defense were not like you said. Like I, like you said, we spoke about it just but we're not big, but we're fast and we're yeah. aggressive. You know what I mean? So every single player on our team can play that striker position as skill. I definitely see that, and uh, and just give you guys a couple heads up. I mean, I. I know Michael was speaking on the, the players you guys are used to. Of course, we'll be losing losing Michael Jackson, ja Jaquan Johnson. I'm looking at the next one. Let me see. I'm not even worrying about that. I'm not even worried about losing those two. Don't get me wrong. It's a big hit for us. Jaquan Johnson's so short, though. They call him 5'11". Five, five that boy is like 5'8". I'm just saying. <laughs> but you sit back and you look at that them corners that we got. One, we're going to have Dean. Dean as our starting corner. Our number one. He's going to be on the best receiver on every Wait, who, who did you yeah. say starting corner? Dean, number six. Uh, Yep, there he is. Dean, 6'2", 185. Oh, he's a senior, too. We're going to be losing him as well. No, no, no. No, no, he's not. He's not. He's a junior going into his senior. Oh, you know what? That's what it is. I apologize, you guys. I did not realize that they had already moved the numbers over. And he's and right. Brandon, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I'm look no no no. No, I'm actually looking at the ESPN. They've already got rid of all the 2018 stats because if I look on defense, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, they've they've already transferred some people over. Let me see. Is anybody Jess Thomas, sophomore, Michael Urban, Junior? Well, does it say Perry's a sophomore? No, 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 no. So this is this year. So no, Perry, Perry, freshman. That's what it shows. So yeah. So he will actually be gone. I honestly think that it's going to be. 
Uh, what's my boy's name? Yeah, I like that. Trajan. Yep, Trajan Bandy, sophomore. So he's a sophomore this year, 5'9", 180. Next year, he'll be a junior. So you got – oh. I like him. Don't even know, I love Bandy. He will not never be our number one. I'll yeah. Right we also call Al Blades Jr. How big is he? 6'1", 185. If, if he, if Dean is gone next year, because I know he's in Jackson. Yeah, um, Dean. He will be our number one, because Bandy, he's not a number one corner. He's a slack corner. I agree. He's only 5'9". Now, is that, is that, is, is the... Striker, and I keep using striker, you guys. You can call it whatever. And 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 Mike told you there's plenty of name for it. I think Miami actually called it something different. But um, is that a position where you want to have someone like a slot receiver size, like around six feet and very very fast, or you want a big, a big guy? I mean, he's probably me personally. I wanted my fastest and hardest hitter on the team. Like overall, I wanted him to be the fastest hitter, the hardest hitter. I wanted someone that was good at both. You're talking about like a strong safety or outside linebacker. Honestly, honestly, red wine. I love red wine. He know he's gone though too. Red wine would be a beast at the striker. Let me tell you something about Mike. Mike's uh, Mike to name five players, and all of them are one of my favorites. And it's sad to say, you guys, but most of these players they're they're seniors. Unfortunately, unless they go ahead and graduate. If they graduate, they get one more year. They can get a fifth year eligibility. So I'm not saying that because it's a senior. Actually, I think that's what Dean is doing. I don't think he's going to leave yet. I think he's graduating. And then I going. Staying, honestly, I, I, yeah, you can do it. Staying, bro. Yeah, you absolutely can do it. It said um, uh, Daniel defense says Romeo Finley played the striker this year. So, yeah, as as, as I was about to bring it in. um, Yeah, so. Mike, did, did Finley? Finley is number 30. That's number 30. Romeo that's Finley. The one I've been telling you, the one that should be playing striker. Oh, you know what, though? He's only a junior. So, yeah. I so, that means he'll be a senior next Figueroa. year. I don't know why I've been calling him Figueroa. But yeah, yeah. Finley, so, he'll be a senior he's next he's year. So, we got him. Play the All right. So, let me see. So, Romeo Finley, DB, 61205 from Fort Walton Beach. And I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to click on his name. I'm using my dual screen, you guys. And if you guys are saying something in the chat, feel free to keep repeating it because I go up and down and left and right and literally. Um, all right, so Finley, he – let's see. He had four tackles, three solo, one assist. He didn't have any picks or anything to share. But, yeah, six one two five 5 junior. Oh, yeah, I remember this guy. If you guys do not remember him, and I'm gonna give you a he's quick. Like a, he has like a light skin. He's a light skin dude. Mm-hmm. You got the the like hair. Long hair. Yeah, that's that guy. Yeah, I was gonna say when I saw his picture, I was like, oh, that guy. Um, I actually he's like him. Nice, dude. He's really nice. I like him. Yeah. Thing is, is he's under the radar, bro. Nobody really knows about him. He just stays quiet. Yeah. You know what I mean? He makes his plays, and that's it, dude. That's what. That's why. That's why I love. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of interesting. I mean, if anybody has not seen it, and I know me and Mike, we were going over and watching the Manny Diaz um, interviews, but he said a a lot of stuff that if you listen and you read between the lines, what he said was there are many players in the state of Florida that maybe not be five stars, but if you can play in the state of Florida, you can play anywhere. And not only did he say that, he said, but yeah, he said, yeah, there's a lot of three-star players in the state of Florida, but if you take them and you move them to Iowa, there would be a five-star blue chip player. Now listen to this. For example, 2001 season. Mm. I love that year. How many five stars did we actually get at recruiting? I think only like three, to be honest with you. None. We didn't have any. We were, Ray Lewis was, not, I don't even think was, was barely a three star. No, I, no, you, no, you're right. You're right. Ray Lewis was a, a two and a half, three star. And they said the reason why is because he was small. Was like, a four star. like, I'm just naming all players now. You know? No, you're right. No, you're dead right. This, this is facts. You're facts. No, these are facts. Yeah, you're right. We don't go by support. And I'm telling you all this right now. And if you guys look at the stars in ESPN and 247, ignore the stars, man. Ignore them. Mm. They mean nothing. Because like like Slappin said, guys, 
you'll have a three star here, but if he goes to Ohio, he's a freaking five star. Exactly. You you live in Michigan or Iowa, you're a five star because you're the best here, player in the state. In California, a three star here, and Florida's a three star in Texas. If you look at if he's a five star and he's in Texas, California, Georgia, or Florida, mm-hmm. you know that kid is legit. Exactly. Yeah, there's plenty of three star players. Anywhere I mean, else, just know he's like a four star in those in the, most four stars in those states. Mm-hmm. I have, a, I have a kid that just moved to Colorado, right? The kid was a freshman. And he wouldn't even have started any, on any team down here in South Florida. Yeah. That kid went up to freaking Colorado, moved there. He is the, their number one receiver on it. varsity, dude. That's great. And honestly, I, and I'm not even going to lie to you guys, it works that way in a lot of, uh, I, I, let me just use the word businesses, or let's say a lot of forms or fashions. I mean, I, if you guys do not know, I am also a rapper. Or I was at least before I started doing video. But my father used to tell me, "Yeah, you rap in Atlanta where it's so saturated. But you move your back, your ass back to Seattle, you'll be the best rapper alive in Seattle." And and he and Mike is right. Yes, yeah. There's a lot of three star players that if they lived in anywhere, uh, Mississippi, Minnesota, New York, New Jersey, there would be five star players. So. We can't get all hyped up talking about, um, oh, Miami only has two four-star players and the rest of them are three stars because it's, 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 re- it's relative. Yes, you're right. It depends on what they're ranked in their state. And it, like I said, if a lot of players from Florida were living in different states, they'd all be five-star players. So you're right. Like, for example, like some of the kids that are coming out, like those two from uh, Chaminade. Yeah, thank you for thank you for what I, what did I call it? Chaminade? I I I I brutally Chaminade, like Chaminade like Madonna, something like that. I said <laughs> I tried, I tried my best. <laughs> I know I brutally, but they're all three stars. You're right though. They're but they're all of them are all of them are three stars. But that team has won. I think the last three. Um, 3A championships in the in the yeah. state of Florida? Now, listen to this. Those two, I'm telling you right now, I've seen them play. I'm down here in South Florida. I'm literally in Pompano Beach, Florida. Oh, my God. I love I'm, Pompano. I'm, I'm, I'd say 30 minutes from 90% of the teams. The farthest team that I'm from right now, uh, I could drive an hour right now in Miami and go watch one of the best teams in the state, in, in the country. You know what I mean? And yeah, most definitely. I've seen these teams play. I've seen these kids play. They are studs. Just because they're three star in Florida don't mean that they ain't studs. Exactly. I'll tell you that right now. There's kids that should be D one that aren't even ranked in South Florida. What I mean, it, it's a rel, it's a relative term. Your ESPN three hundred. I mean, if you guys really break it down and just think about basketball, football, whatever. Let's say you are the thousands best video editor i'm gonna use video editor let's say cook right let's say you're ranked 1000 in france and then you move your ass to iowa guess what you become number one so yes you're right it's a relative term these rankings don't mean damn thing and and if you guys do not know the rankings they're all what's the word i'm looking for i'm sorry uh, uh, you mean like relative, or they're they're all uh uh su- or objective or subjective? Personal thought. It's all personal thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all yeah. Someone thinks he's better than this kid. Yep. But it's hard. I mean, you're never gonna see until the All American um Under Armour game or something like exactly. that. Exactly. Seniors coming the senior All American game. And that's facts. If you. Yep, yeah. and, and, and if you guys if if you guys aren't really understanding what Mike is saying, subjective. Thank you, Nathan. It's a subjective standpoint. If you guys do not know, go and watch. I have two brother in laws from New York, right? And they, one of my brother in laws was uh, signed to Columbia Records in high school, and he got signed through TLC. But if you go and look how New York rappers rate themselves, you be like, oh yeah, well he was all right in New York, and then they come down to Atlanta, and it's like. Damn, he's the best rapper ever. It's subjective, you know? So you're right. Our three-star players anywhere else. Oh, Crip, I didn't know you from New York. That's awesome. Uh, I just heard some news that Fedora was out. 
as Miami's defensive or offensive coordinator. Uh, who posted that? Da, 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 da. Thank you. All right, all right. Miami Heat just touched on this mic. I want you to go ahead and say it real quick. Um, can you give me two teams that ran a four-two-five last year? That well, you know, I didn't know that we they did or we did. I guess I just gave it up real quick. But two teams that already run four-two-fives. Um, we ran a little bit of it last year. Yeah. I didn't know. It. I didn't know that. Yep. Honestly, and I'm gonna be real with you. Every single team runs it. It's it's interesting. I didn't know, and I told people like the four three. I know there are some formations that are pretty solid. Four three, four four, nickel dime, and pretty much no one runs a five two. I never knew what a four two five was. You know like I said, found out runs it? Uh, Pittsburgh. Really? Steelers. Uh, wait, they, are you they serious? Run, they run See, um, another term, so guys. I don't. Like, like, they had the four, 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 three, three, four, eight, four, two, five. The what's it called? The five, one, five, one. Five, yeah, like that. I've seen that. And, and guys, once again, and I'm, we're not joking with you guys. Me and Mike did not make this up. When I talked to him today, I said, "Look, man, I'm like kind of heard of it, but I've only seen it in video games. I didn't really know what I was seeing. I watched the Louisiana Tech game." As a re- as a quarterback and a receiver, as I used to be, I was confused because I could not tell who was blitzing, who I should be looking at, who should be blocking who. I mean, Diaz literally said uh, the the thing about our defense is we didn't do anything special. We ran to the ball and we tackled. The but the thing is that we made sure that we put ourselves in a position where the offense can make mistakes. When I watch, even when I watched the LSU game, which Louisiana Tech didn't have a chance of winning. Um, I was confused. I was putting myself in the quarterback shoes and saying, all right, if I'm the quarterback and it looks like they're blitzing seven people, right? They bring up three linebackers. Guess what? I was wrong. Only one of those you know, was actually on. Nathan, if we get Applewhite, dude, it's done. Who's that? Who's that? Applewhite? I, I, Applewhite, I'm, I, I know that I followed him in the past. Let me see. Where, where was he at? Where was his last term at? Why do I want to say? Oh, Houston. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Yes. That was the head coach. Man, there's – first off, why in the hell did they fire him? I don't want the OC from Toledo, Richard, honestly. I'm not going to lie to you. But, I mean I – really I feel like Toledo, yes. Um, I feel like their offense isn't that great. Why do we want someone that's running an offense that's not that good? It's the only way you're going to get – I feel the only way you're going to become the head coach – I mean, OC at Miami is if you have an offense that's in the top, like, 40 to 30, 40, top 40 offense in the nation. Yeah, I would say 30. So I would say – yeah, 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 I agree. Well, if you guys do not know um, about the hire uh, at defensive coordinator, Blake – Baker. Oh, did I say it right that's Blake Gers. Um, he actually Big worked baller. with what is his, what is his name? Big Baller. Big Baller. <laughs> he actually worked with uh Manny Diaz twice. He worked with he would work under Manny Diaz at Texas, and he also worked under me Manny Diaz at Texas Tech. And then of course Manny Diaz left Texas Tech to come to Miami. So I mean uh, that's that, that, like I said, when I asked you guys, does Man Diaz have any ties to any of the teams? Well, like I said, he wasn't playing. He's going to hire somebody quick. So let me let me let me ask you something else, Mike. And this is for all the fans and the viewers. So four two five, uh, we got a and I'm on, I'm just going to keep calling him Striker because I just like that name. Sounds like a video game name. Um, <laughs> but you said that I know you watched the game. Um, is it a lot of man, zone, cover one, cover two, blitz? What? What do you say? You, like I said, you can really run anything out of it. But this, the Blake, Blake uh, Baker is going to literally run. He's going to man up. And that's what he's at. The man, the man is going to make Baker or it's going to break him. It's going to make him or break him, bro. Because if you've watched some of them in Louisiana, yeah, they'll run the cover three. They'll run... 
uh, cover two zone, nor in the cover four. But seventy five percent of their plays is mana. Mana. And I love that. that Miami. Like you, said, like you catch the that sounds like a Miami defense. Mm-hmm. We run man. If you guys do not know, it, Miami, we don't do that soft zone stuff. Why do you think we have so many defensive players that go to the league and are successful? Because we run man to man. If you can got, guard somebody man to man, you definitely can guard them in zone. I don't care what sport you play, and I don't know what the equivalent is for baseball or soccer, but I can tell you this. I play basketball and I play football. If you can guard someone one-on-one, you can guard them in open space and just guard a little circle zone. So, yeah, I like that. Lee McCoy that came out the league in Miami right now. Um, it's a plane. That, that, that's it's playing now, or is it? Top of that. Oh, that isn't playing? I mean, I don't... That is playing in the NFL right now. Um, uh, right. Who, who we got right Um, No, Perryman's linebacker at Chargers. Um, You can make me search this, because you know I'm a facts guy. No, you know, let me tell you something. I, li- I love my facts. All right, so listen. Um, let me think. No, oh, for real. Uh, first one that pops in my head is Eli Apple. Okay. That that wasn't who I was thinking no, of. It wasn't Eli. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Eli, I think, went to LSU, didn't he? Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, that sounds like a LSU, maybe an Auburn dude. A Pittsburgh player. Let's see. Pittsburgh's got two Miami boys that start right now on defense. Uh, yeah. I don't know why I was thinking Eli. I'm a dumb. Let me see. Let me see. Cause I I like hey, looking I at the stuff because. Um. I'll tell you right now. Uh. Who's my guy? You know the. If you guys do not know, Bill Belichick loves Miami players. Actually, if you guys were wondering where Bax and Barrios is at, he's in New England too as well. He is in New England. He got hurt last year. Away, he's not playing. Artie Burns is what I Thank you. Thank about. you. I love Artie Burns. Wait, what? Is he at the Steelers? He is, isn't he? He was at the Steelers. He might still be, though. Football. I mean, really, it's, it's so amazing to watch. Yeah, he's still in the. Is it is he already burns be he starts too though? Like he ain't playing. Jamie, if I'm not mistaken, he's their number one. Mm-hmm. But I think that's really yep. the You're right. right. He is he is number one. But I mean, we've had some some struggling years on defense. Here's the thing though, you guys, and I know it might seem like Miami hasn't had a lot of D one players um in the last last three years. Go look at Miami's roster. Most of our players are freshmen and sophomores or juniors. Like 90% of the players we have on the roster that will be retained next year are all Mark Rick's recruits. And I, like I said, granted, I didn't like Mark Rick as far as his play calling and offense and all that BS. But as far as recruiting goes, people knew who he was. It's not, I'm going to be real with you. I still love Rick. I, I do too. love Rick. Uh, always have respect for him. Mm-hmm. He's a great coach, great recruiter. It just didn't work out down here. It didn't. He didn't fit Miami. That's all it was, man. You know what I mean? Like, I, man, you look, I know I, I, I was bad mouthing him a little bit, blah, blah, blah. I think we but, all were, though. We all, we all gave him some tongue, some, some tongue lashing, so. You know what I mean? But Rick is a great coach. Not going to lie to you. But he should have retired after Georgia. Um, straight up. And honestly, I was just about to pick up on that. I'm gonna pick up on that note right here, real quick. Uh, yes, um, he, he should retired, have. Uh, we wouldn't have had Manny. We wouldn't have had that uh, indoor practice facility either. That many de- many yep. Diaz did that damn interview in. And I know people um, say that it was uh, it was a little weird that. Um. Mark Rick came in and then put in the money and then left. But if you guys really think about it, my Mark Rick has always been a Miami guy. I mean, when he left Miami and he played behind, who was it, Toretto or Jim Kelly? I think he played behind Jim Kelly, right? He didn't have a chance to play here. And then he didn't have a chance to coach at Miami because we were so beast mode. 
And then so he did his little thing around. But I mean, I am so happy that he came to Miami and all the stuff that he did. I would never take that from that man. And I don't think anybody, if you watch the interviews, you guys, nobody will take that from Mark Rick. Like he really helped our program and grow it. Without Mark Rick, there would be no Manny Diaz. We wouldn't even know who the hell he was. So. Oh man, it's it's gonna be a fun year though, honestly. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I'm gonna be real, I don't expect a great season next year. I really don't. D- I, I expect struggles. I really Wait, 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 but you expect a great season. So can I get, can I get, so I, I know it's way too early. We don't even have offenses. We literally have no offensive staff. You might as well call uh, Mike and Calvin, Director Chill, Miami's offensive coordinators, because we have none. Uh, but what do you say? Uh, Are, saying, better or worse, though? Better or worse? For better or worse? You, 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 mar- you already married to Miami Hurricane family, so for better or for worse, you seven and six, though. Do we beat the teams that we should beat? I see us, and to me, when I'm talking about a great season, I'm not. I'm talking. We're gonna have a good year. A good year to me this year is at least eight wins. I agree. I, I we agree. have eight wins. I'm good because honestly, we're in a two to three year rebuild. I'm about to pull up the schedule next year. I know you you guys all know that we are playing Florida first game, and also you guys. I don't. I don't think we're gonna win that game. I'm not. Before, gonna man, Florida look good. I might even freaking lie. Did you watch the Michigan game? Did you watch Florida, that dude. Michigan every game? Florida, every Ooh. Florida fan out there, they're gay. I hate them. I, I know. Yeah, I know. They can chomp and they can tomahawk chop. I don't give a damn. But they look so good against Michigan. Yeah, they do, bro. I was jealous as fuck. Really I was like, damn, bro. Like, they was up in there. They Honestly, they would have had a better chance in the college football playoffs than Oklahoma and uh, Georgia and Notre Dame. I think they would have waxed the floor with Texas. They would have waxed yeah, Texas no, ass. Notre Dame deserves that, though. Notre Dame, it looks great this year yeah but i'm so did you hear man, what manny said manny said man uh notre dame left the hard rock last year with their tail between their legs and then they come yeah, back oh, the very man, next year shot he game. shot oh, man he yeah. blasted they, he said they walked out of hard rock last year with a tail between their legs if you guys do not watch and if you don't remember because i know we got so much stuff going on in life we don't remember that it was what 42 to 7 47 to 7, some crazy ass shit like that. We dominated oh. them. Just put it right Oh my God. I honestly, I, I had to say, there were two games last year that if if you guys, if I were doing live streams, you probably would have bounced me on. And because I said, I felt sorry for those teams. I felt sorry for that Virginia Tech game. And I felt sorry for that Notre Dame game. They were hitting Notre Dame so bad. That quarterback, and I know we'll, uh, he's in the league now, or he got he got recruited. He was shaking. He was getting his ass. Whoa! That's like going to your friend's house for a bat a barbecue. That's like going, Mike. That's like going to your friend's house for a barbecue, and then uh, your friend's son acts up and he gets his ass whooped in front of everybody at the barbecue. That's how I felt about Notre Dame game last year. Like it was sad. Yeah, we was up in that ass, boy. I'm sorry. And then but but that's my thing though. Nathan, you are right, dude. I don't I don't see a ten and two, I'm not gonna lie to you. Nathan says ten and two, uh no more losing to Duke and Virginia. I agree with that though. I'm all right, let me let me pull up the schedule. I wanna pull up next year's schedule because I think they I think this year's game that is gonna be tough tough. I think that we is a hit or miss is that Georgia Tech game. Georgia Tech always gives us a lot of money. Yeah, but they don't. They, but they got a new coach, so so there's no more option. They got the Temple coach, and that and is that not ironic? All right, let me give you guys the breakdown. Florida first game, Central Michigan Chippewas, which I love that name Chippewas. Second game, Duke, Florida State, Georgia Tech. We play Louisville next year, and not even worry about them. Virginia, Virginia Tech, North Carolina, Pitt. And then FIU, but they're still trying to figure out where that's going to be in the schedule. Honestly, and I'm dead serious. I don't see a loss. I don't. The first game is Florida. I don't see a loss in the ACC next year. I'm going to be real with this one. I'm going to give 
give off the play if we're going to win or lose, and we'll mark it full full. All right. So, so game one, Florida Gators. Who do you have? August 31st. I'm not going to lie. I think Florida's going to win. Uh, I'm a diehard game, but I'm a realist, and I just – I got. I got to be honest with you. I agree. I, I agree. I think it's going to be close. I think it may be a three point game. All right, game two, Saturday, September twenty first, Central Michigan. I don't even know. They ain't even got a coach no more. He's at like some. That's big one and, one. and that's a home game. We play Florida at Orlando. By the way, by the way, and then we play Central. All right, so then we go right into the ACC games. Uh, well, FIU they don't have a date yet, but whatever. So Duke. We're gonna beat FIU. That's one. All right, so two and one. So let's say we do Florida, Central Michigan, and FIU, and I'm I'm just gonna rank this like basketball. So you play your non-conference first, and then you get into the conference. So first conference game, Duke, at Duke, at Duke. By the way, win at Florida We're State. Blow Duke out. I'm telling you that right now. I agree. I I I, I don't I don't know about blow. I mean, do you mean fourteen? Do you mean do you mean um? 14 though, like I, I'm saying we'll beat Duke by 14 at Duke. 21. 21. All right. So you're saying three touchdowns. That's universal skunk. If you guys do not play college football for real, uh, that's Come universal on, skunk. <laughs> you hear the her you hear her first on slapping TV. You know what? I'm gonna stream that fucking game live. Sorry, Coop, but we're gonna do it. All right, next game at Florida State. I don't think honestly, I don't think it's gonna be close. I know it's always close when it's a rival it's game. Close, man. Um, I, I always put close games close yeah. because it's Florida State, Miami. That is, the thing is, you can be zero and nine, and Florida we, we can be zero and nine, and Florida State can be nine and nine. Facts. It and comes down to a fucking field game. goal. Yeah, no, no, facts. I'm not I'm not going to disagree with you. Yeah, you damn sure right. Yeah, it's always close. Okay, so right now we got a loss versus uh, the Gators. Of course, Central Michigan win, FIU win. Bush Davis might be mad as fuck, though. I oh, know that's uh, Lane Kiffin, FIU. All right, so now Georgia Tech in Miami. They got a new... Offensive scheme, but they have a team full of players that are used to running an option. I agree. You wait, wait. You said we're gonna lose or they're gonna lose? I think that we're gonna lose. You I think we're gonna do. lose? I feel like that Georgia Tech team, they're still they're they haven't really lost anybody, bro. Yeah, but they're gonna they got the new temper coach. In the game when we played half that team, I mean ninety percent of that team are juniors and sophomores. True, and they're, they're experience. The they're experienced. Good to go to the league, so they're staying and getting their degree. Facts. It's Georgia Tech. So yeah, when you play those smaller teams, if you guys do not know, um, most of these teams they stay. That's why bowl games it's always up in the air because you got teams like a Boise State or a Georgia Tech, as Mike just said, that they got seniors because nobody's coming out early. But I have to disagree with you in that one because they're going to be changing offense. Temple, that new Temple coach, I don't even know his name, but uh, they definitely. I don't. I don't think they they're not going to be running an option. I yeah, think they're, they're going to be confused. Option, but I think they're going to run the option out the shotgun because that quarterback, Ooh. that quarterback, is no damn joke. We're, we're he can throw. Game. He actually can throw. Uh, hold on. Let me see. I got. I got somebody. Uh, we are not losing that's to Georgia Tech. That's what. Last year is that arm. He actually can throw, and it's kind of weird. And and I just want to drop this real quick before we go to the next one. Uh, if you guys do not remember, Georgia Tech had. The other Calvin, and I don't mean Snoop Dogg. I'm talking about Megatron. During the time that they were running with Paul Johnson's offense, and he was a beast. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's a 50 50 game, but it's in Miami, Hard Rock. So maybe we get a little leeway. So yeah, it depends on the environment, really. It depends on how yeah. we start it off. If, if we, we beat, start off the way we're saying at four and one, it, but if we beat Florida and we go into that game four and zero. Yeah, and, and and as I tell you guys, only two of these games are set in stone. The Florida game is August 31st, and the Central Michigan game is September 21st. So they're a month apart, August, September. Yeah, so they're basically a month apart. Hey, so, one more thing you got to remember. That FSU game is in FSU. It is. Yeah, so that's a close one. So maybe, man, I tell you right now, we better not lose the Florida and Florida State. I don't care. 
we're going to beat Florida State. Wait, what? Hold on. Time out, Mike. Time out, time out, time out. We just got Apple White as our offensive coordinator. Are you guys for real? I don't like fake news, and I don't say that shit. I didn't even vote for Donald I'll Trump. Get it up right now. Please, someone tell me, is this real? Nathan says this shit is for real. Wait, hold on. So we got the 425, and then we got Apple White. Man, you guys are going to have – I told the wife that I'd be done by the time she got home, but she's like, no, you won't. Uh, you're going to be on there talking to your friends. You guys are my friends. All right, so I, I got to go. Let's Let's talk. Let's talk. Major Apple White will be named the new offensive coordinator. Holy shit. What? Okay, time out. Time out then. I, 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 I'm telling you, I have been doing so much stuff. The reason why I've been on stream every day is not because I'm trying to get you guys to donate. Of course, I would appreciate it if you did. I'm going to put it back in chat. <laughs> but it's because that this shit is happening in real time. Like we are beating ESPN with this fucking news. You guys saw me. I was watching the TV the other day trying to figure out who the hell we're gonna hire, and we were actually beating them in real time news. So we have Major Apple White. Timeout, CJ Liberty City. Welcome to the chat. I do not know if you like, subscribe, comment, whatever. Please do. I love you guys so much. What offense does he run? In this freaking chat right now. I know what. What offense does he run? I know Coop. I'd be like Coop, and Coop's my guy. I'm, I'm gonna let you guys know. Coop is one of the ones that made me made me want to do this channel for you guys. But I was to I always tell Coop. I said, man, you let me know when you're going on because I don't want to step on your toes because I feel like a, you know what I'm saying like you're you're the vet. So I give him respect. But can someone please tell me what fucking offense does Apple White run? I'm about to search it. I want to know. Is it spread? Is it hard nose? Does it matter? <laughs> Does it matter? Hey, Manny Diaz was not fucking playing. He literally said, oh, we're going to make these um, changes real quick. Real quick. All right. Apple White runs an up-tempo offense. Ooh, no huddle? That was the one at Houston, right? That's my guy from Houston that I said they shouldn't even have fired him because the fucking – Fucking knucklehead defensive end already was number one draft pick and he decided not to play and he wanted to put that fucking jacket on. It was 80 degrees. That guy, man, that's, that was me. I was mad when I was like, oh, he my. Was, um, Major Apple White Houston. Right, in 2003 right. and 2004, he was a uh, general assistant at Texas. He was, okay. Uh, 2005, he was the quarterback coach at Syracuse. 2006 Rice offensive coordinator slash quarterback coach. Oh, Alabama offensive coordinator quarterback coach. What? Wait, wait. He coached under Saban. What? Oh, you said 07. Yeah. Was that 07 though? 07. Was was it doesn't really matter if Saban. I already know he's a pedigree pet pedigree coach, so I'm cool either way. In, so 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 what since then? In 2008, he was. Assistant head coach and running back coach in Texas. 2008 to 2010, sorry. 2011 to 2012, Texas co-offensive coordinator running back. 2013, Texas coordinator quarterback. Interesting, because that's funny. So now we have a former Texas coach and a former Louisiana Tech coach. And guess what, you guys, if you do not know uh, Manny Diaz, coach at both of those stops. Go, go ahead and continue, though, Mike. Please, please do. I'm doing some research. And um, he coached 2015 to 2016 in Houston, OC quarterback coach, and he was the head coach at with Houston, too, right? Yeah, he was the head coach, yeah, for two years. For two years. He just got released. Yeah, because that fucking knucklehead defensive end, and I don't want to call him a dumbass because he's a young kid. He was a dumbass. But anyhow, yeah, yeah, I, I, I honestly believe he shouldn't have got fired. But wow! He was the Big Twelve offensive freshman of the year in nineteen ninety eight. Ho 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 ho! I just saw something else. Uh, Applewhite was a quarterback uh, for the Texas Longhorns from ninety eight to oh one. Recruited from Catholic High School in Baton Rouge, uh, then coach. And was later coached by Mac Brown. So he's actually a coach that was coached by Mac Brown. He did go to the league. Wow. I didn't know he had that much pedigree under him. I, I didn't know that. I mean, I knew he was, he was a pretty dope coach. But All right. 
what offense does he run? Can anyone tell me Houston's offense? Does he run? Does he pass? Uh, let's just look at Houston Cougars offense. And I, I apologize. Spread. Nathan says he runs a spread. Manny Diaz says he don't give a fuck what the spread is because he said they done changed the spread so much that it's spread out. So he's confused. And I and I quote that literally. Um no huddle. Oh, Nathan says he runs a no huddle fast pace. You know what? If you guys have watched um the Manny Diaz video, he really looked like he was like, Yeah, we're gonna go fast. And we're gonna go hard. Dude, just looking at him in that picture of Houston. I see. I see. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, dude. But that, I, I got the same. I got the same. Um, the same feeling when I was watch, uh, looking at Baker. I was like, damn, that motherfucker look like he don't play. Yeah. You see him uh, smash that jacket off of them, that boy. That he snatched that jacket off. That dude was like, hey, no, nah, ain't nobody wearing no jackets. I done told and you guys. Honestly, and I, like I told you the other day, this is something that because I, I told you this, this guy heard a little rumors that Justin Fields was interested in Miami. This might be something to pick him there. He'd be a perfect no, fit. All right, so we have a defensive coordinator. We have a defensive coordinator um, that played at Louisiana Tech, which are pretty dope, Four two five. Now we have a former head coach. And I always said this about the offensive coordinator. It's kind of hard to come from being a head coach to being an offensive coordinator unless either you're moving up from a, what is it called, the other five schools? Other five schools or um, a smaller power five school. So I can't believe this. (laughs) And he does both. So he runs option. He run or he runs spread. He's fast paced, no huddle, quarterback run. So we basically just hired an offensive coordinator and head coach at the same time. I mean, you agree, Mike? Yeah. I mean, yeah, Houston wasn't not, bad this year. They were good. He's not that old, but he's, he's not old though. How old is he? Forty. He's forty years old. He's born in seventy eight. Right now, man, I remember what I said earlier. Manny Diaz is building for the long run. Man, do you know how many great coaching waitings we have, though, right now? (laughs) He's a coordinator, a 40 year old offensive coordinator. Manny Diaz is 40 something years old, 45 or something like that. We'll have to so wait i mean i i'm really baffled can anyone tell me exactly what, which side i should be looking at is it on the 247 or uh miami hurricanes miami i was actually looking at his stats on something else all right let me see here we go what site am i should be should i be looking at uh Who Browse and Herman he learned on oh my god Herman and Browse are both they're both goats. I mean there's they're some really good coaches. Yeah, I disconnected my Wi-Fi so I can't even search the internet right now. For everything I'm hearing from all the news I'm hearing, I'm hearing from you. Okay, no 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 problem. You good. Can someone show me the site real quick? Because you guys know I like to read and I like to see it because I'm a fat checker. I don't want to give you guys not fat checker, a fact. <laughs> Check, <laughs> but I, I like to give you guys. Applewood, bro. Can you believe that? All right, so we got a dope four two five defense. That's the only hire we're having on defense, by the way. Manny Diaz says he was hiring one person. He said this yesterday. He's hiring one person, and he's gonna do it quick. And then Applewhite. Now, this does he let Applewhite hire his staff, or does Manny go through the rest? I think he leaves it up to Applewhite. What do you think? Because they do honestly, it together. They, both, they work together with it because he, Manny doesn't want anybody in there that's like doesn't want to sit there skiing. Is what he wants. Apple fits him perfectly. But the thing is, is what I was thinking about is we might have the same issue with our 
defense being tired. If we have a fast-paced offense, that means we want to put the board fast. I mean, their defense is going to be out there a lot more. Mm, facts. Like we were this year. We talked so about that earlier, we yeah. That tired defense. Facts. We did talk about that. Yeah, I think the major thing is that uh, we want to make sure that our defense gets some rest. Um, that's that's kind of challenging. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they slow it down a little bit. Maybe, I mean, granted, he can run a fast offense, but we don't necessarily have to go no huddle. Maybe we just huddle up every why, time. Why, why change that offense when? I wouldn't either. Honestly, I love that offense. I do too. Offense. I would say run that bit fast. I love watching Houston, you guys. If you guys do not know, and my temp, my family's from South Texas and from Houston, and I love watching that team play. Uh, remember that old? Remember that? Uh, what was it? I think it was Chip Kelly Orton off, offense. Oh, ooh. So that was dangerous. My of all time, bro. That, was or, that, that Oregon offense. And how great oh my god. Was to the tee, though. That offense. That was that Marcus Mariota joint. Uh there was actually yeah. two players from Georgia, uh, from McEachin High School down here in Georgia that played on that team, their brothers. And uh, I loved it fast paced, but you know what? They got in trouble when defense got tired because they scored a lot and they scored fast, man. That was crazy. But at the same time, they really didn't get in trouble because Oh, you can score 30 points on us. It's all right. We're putting 40. Thank you, uh, Miami Heat, for giving me that. Um, I like it. All right. So now we've broken down two positions, right? Offense coordinator is taken care of. Defense coordinator is taken care of. Oh, my God. That face. Thank you, baby. I got I, – you guys do not report me to – F. Uh, Defects, but my wife is on the way home, so I had my my oldest daughter uh, pour my drink because I was not getting up and leaving you guys. <laughs> no, I'm dead ass. Hey, hey, she's she's seven. She, she's good. Um, so yes, it is official. Hey, man, my son. Yeah, you'll be seven in like three months. Yeah, she's like, I'm not seven. I'm six. Yeah, yeah, I teach him young. You know what I'm saying? Why well, have kids if you're not gonna make them young slaves? <laughs> No, my kids hey, are great. Mom, mom, all the time. Thank you. Mike, Take Mike, out the trash. Mike, Cut the grass. Mike. Exactly. Mike. Man, it was so bad Mike when I. Day, bro. And if I didn't, if I didn't get up to go can her the dang remote, I'll be in trouble. All right, Mike. Did your mom ever call you from your room on the phone though? Like when cell phones came out, my mom used to call me. Oh, I'd be. My God. Is that not the funniest shit? Your phone would ring. You'd be like, "Damn, did mom leave?" And she's like, "Hey, I need you to come and get the remote." You sitting right next oh, to a woman. I did that to my kids just for the fucking fun of it. I'm dead ass. All right, so Major Applewhite is our new offense of coordinator. I'm so sad. That face though, he kind of looks like a young I Chucky. Yeah, I, I was seeing a lot of people post that, and I apologize, guys. If you guys are posting in chat, yes, feel free to. Offense, you don't need a big line. Really? So I don't need my corn fed boys from like Nebraska and Iowa and shit. No, I guess you're fast paced. They're, in, they're not in the three point stands. Uh, so they're not even the three point stands. You're right because they're already standing. Oh, I, oh, yeah, 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 no, no, that's facts. That's facts. I did know that. Yeah. You know what I mean? so, hey, baby. My beautiful this wife is here. Uh, Miami got new coach. Off of coach. Okay. Yeah. To, no, just now. Like, as we were last year. I'm talking to Mike. All right. So, we don't. So, we ain't got to worry about no badass blacker, backers in. Yeah. Can you, Mike, can you tell me this? I, I, guys, I know I've been hearing a lot of things about Hazelwood. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know who he is, where he's from. All I hear is that he's good. Mike, can you please shed some light on us? Who is this Hazelwood kid? Hazelwood? The yeah. number one receiver in the nation. And he is he from Georgia or Florida? I'm pretty sure he was from Cali, and I think he's in mm. Georgia now. Okay, okay, I did hear that because so I did hear my say that if Justin Fields left, 
then he probably was leaving too. <clears throat> See, I've been hearing a lot of people talk about him. Like I said, I a lot of people say, "Oh, we'd never get him anyway." So, I never did why any. Why I never, I never gave him merit because I'm like, uh, well, what? The thing is, why wouldn't we ever get him? Why would now with Applewood and we're gonna throw the ball more? That's the main reason why those big name receivers never come to Miami is because we're a we were a running team. Facts. No, 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 no. That you're dead serious. We're getting the bigger receivers, the faster, the better receivers because we throw the ball. So we're going to run a 4 2 5 defense. We're going to be fast on offense and we're going to be quick. This is what I'm getting, right? Everybody can say, and I apologize, you guys. If you guys say something in chat, keep putting it up there. I mean, like you said. He is the, he's basically he's the, the boss. Running the defense. Yeah. Uh, let me see. What's so his name is Hazelwood, right? Hey, H A Z E L. I'm sorry, I'm a bad spell. All right, there we go. Oh, I got it right. Let me let me see. I guess I should have put in football player because I just brought up schools and everything else and restaurants. Like you said, you brought up the Justin Fields situation. This might even make it even better for Justin Fields and interested for him. You never I agree. You don't know what could happen now, especially with this uh, uh, Apple White. The guy is a monster. The guy is a great offensive coordinator. I, if we were, I like him. I ain't gonna lie. I like him. I did. I did like the Fedora conversation. Don't get me wrong, but the fact that he got fired from North Carolina. And we pretty much waxed him every year for the last three years. I wasn't really happy about that Fedora thing. But Apple White, honestly, I never really touched on it because I thought he was just going to go take a new job. Honestly, and I'm going to be weird with you guys. I thought that Apple White was going to go take the Temple job after we got Manny Diaz three days ago. I thought he was going to be a head coach. I didn't think he would. I don't want to say bound down. I don't want to disrespect the man. But I didn't think he would, like, digress – to be I an OC. Right now, I bet you are. Uh, well, I'm not, I ain't got no cash, but. <laughs> no, no, right. a, a, a friendly bet right now that right when Manny got that head coach spot, Manny was on the phone with Apple White. Hey, I want you with me. I, I got to agree. I mean, Manny, you've seen it. Like, and I know I'm the presser, and if you guys do not know, and I. Let me let me stop right real, real quick, Mike. I want to thank everybody that's in chat right now. I know it's gonna love people in here. I do not care if there's one person in here or there are five people in here, but we are Miami family. I love talking to you guys. You guys are my friends and my family. Like, subscribe, chat. I'll even put the donation stuff in there. If you want to donate, we're doing some upgrades. So let me get back to that real quick. I was kind of confused, Mike, when all this transpired because I was like, Well, now what? And then when I saw the interview, you watched it. I watched the whole fucking thing. Me and the wife watched it. And I was like, damn, man, he's not playing. He's like, oh, we already got this stuff lined up. Y'all here in the next. And he said, quick. He didn't say in the next few days. He didn't say in a week. He said, and I quote, we have to move fast because unfortunately, the coaching carousel and the recruiting season is at the same time. This is Manny's words. So. Signing day, I believe, is the beginning of February. Yeah, I think it's like Valentine's Day. It's like February 12th or something like that. The actual signing day. Now, the, two years ago, they opened up the pre-signing day, and which was last week. Down, yeah. I'm down to watch that stream all day with you, dude. Hey, we will do it. I am down. I want to see them put them hats on. Oh, this is Super Sonic's hat. You guys don't hate on me. I ain't got no team right now in basketball. But, yes, I love seeing them pick up them hats and put it to their side. Put it, I can tell you right now. 
any player in the state of Florida that picks up a Florida State hat, a Florida State hat, and he has a Miami hat in front of him, he's going to pick up that Florida State hat and put it on his head and say, no, I don't like that. I'm going to Lee Corso. And he's going to throw it down, and then he's going to put on that damn Miami hat. Because right now, we are building the future. I know a lot of people said Miami will never be back. Mike, me and you come conversated about this yesterday converse about this yesterday we will say oh well we never be miami like we were i said you know what clemson was never anything until they fired terry bowden and then they got that dude what's his name uh dabo sweeney and now look at him so be real with you my statement still stands you will never be the old miami well because of penalties and flags but i mean can we we will never be the old miami because i'll be real with you this generation, yeah, they soft. Football, they fucking soft, dude. It's nothing like when I played and you played. Oh when my I god! Played, a bloody nose. Oh shit! I freaking hawk that. I blow that thing out until I freaking until it stops, man. I, I'm, I'm still on the field. Right the field. Yeah, yeah, and and keep going, right? It was like watching any given Sunday where like Jamie Foxx throws up and like, hey, we're gonna all move to the side. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't do that anymore. No oh, uh, can I pause you right there, Mike? Okay, I finally got two four two four seven sports up. Yes. So, all right, let me start. I want to start with the top six first off. Uh, uh, Nolan Smith, Brendleton, Florida, IMG, of course. You got a boy from California, which is a wide receiver. So the first two I just named are wide receivers. You got Derek Stinley from Louisiana, Baton Rouge. He's going to LSU. Um, and then you have Zach Harris, Ohio State, Trey Sanders, running back, IMG again, saying he's going to Alabama. We might – he actually, he probably won't come to – Okay, so he's official. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah, actually, you're right. The top the, the top five I just named have already committed. Now. Jaden Hazelwood, Cedar Grove. You know, it's crazy. I, I used to work for um, Life Touch doing the yearbook pictures. I actually worked at Cedar Grove and did their yearbook pictures. So now I know that boy's face. I'm surprised. I've actually seen that boy and took his picture for a yearbook picture. He's got Oklahoma at 90% and Georgia at 7 Let's pause right now, there. Hey, what? That I don't even know. sound right. It used to be 50-50 Miami, Georgia. But that don't even sound right, though. You got oh, – oh, wait, wait, wait. They just moved Miami into the warm spot. So they got 82% for Oklahoma, which they just got their ass waxed. Then you got Georgia. They just got their ass waxed. Then you got Miami at third at 3%. The next two is Florida State and Auburn, which, well – You want to know something, though? I, I, please. I'm, I'm, this is new to me, guys. I'm giving you guys this news as I read it. To get that kid, we got to move fast on, on either – Field or the Buffalo quarterback? Well, I think, but I mean, but, but what do you what do you think though? We just signed Applewhite. He likes running spread and running fast. Guess what? Miami, you guys, is not a running team anymore. We're gonna do whatever it takes to win. Guess what? Oklahoma, mm, okay, Georgia, mm, they got Holyfield. If he goes to Georgia, he's not fucking playing for at least two years. I'm sorry. And I think I don't know if Swift is a senior or a junior or what, but right now he's looking at Miami. Miami is the only team out of these five that are on their way that way. The only one. Georgia got their ass spanked by Texas. A Texas team that got spanked by Oklahoma. So look, so if you look at the first, and granted, we got we got spanked. I'm not saying that we're the best, but look, look who we're looking at though. Texas. Got spanked by Oklahoma. Georgia got spanked by Texas. And now you got Miami, who spanked Florida State. They're not even – they got zeros on there. Yeah, and I'm on 247 Sports. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, like I said, I'm not saying that we're the best team out of these five, but I'm saying if you're looking at it overall, and he's from Georgia. So if he – that, 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 I was just about to say that. Mike took the words out of my mouth. If you're looking at playing time, substantial playing time on a team that you know the defense is going to be slapping, and that, yes, that is an adverse. Slapping means like off the chain, if you guys do not know. That's what it means. Um, but, yeah, you're looking at an Oklahoma team that, granted, they've had the last two Heismans, but other than that, nothing. Georgia, who everybody thought Kirby was smart, but he's not that smart. And I've been saying that since we hired Mark Rick. You're looking at Miami. And 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 out of all of these teams, 
there's only two of these states that I actually I've been to Athens. Of course, I've never been to Oklahoma. Um, I've been to Tallahassee, C Florida State, and I actually was recruited recruited by Auburn. The sexiest state and university on this list is us. What the hell? How good is this boy? I've never seen him in the house. Being like, you know what, I might go somewhere else. Is we're new. We are a new head coach, a new offensive coordinator, a, a new defensive coordinator. The, f- is the fucking turnover Some chain. Like Some of these kids like to go somewhere where they know, okay, this is the set. This is how it's planned. This is how it's done. I know what I'm walking into. These kids don't know what they're walking into. I mean, true, but I, I can tell you this right now. These motherfuckers got maps. And I can tell you right now, Oklahoma is not sexy. I don't give a damn who you are. And I've been to Athens. That shit is like walking through Ackworth, Georgia. If you guys are from Georgia, you know what Ackworth looks like. That's literally what Athens looks like. Miami is just, that's that sexy guy. If we can, it's, how good is this kid? I, I've never seen any of his highlights, you guys. He's from Ellenwood, Georgia, Cedar Grove High School. Uh, I did see, actually, I take that back. I saw them in on TV um, a, last or two months ago when they did the, the Georgia playoff. But I didn't know who he was, so I didn't, I coun't pinpoint. So, let me explain something. He's so good that you would want to freak him out. Like, you would want to freaking have every single Miami fan shout him out. Show him love. You would want... Your recruiters to be the fans. Damn. Walk up, you would want Miami fans to walk around in his jersey before he's even signed. I mean, I I can't really disagree with that. I'm so surprised that he had Oklahoma at 90%. And I know you said it was 50-50. And, I, and I'm looking at this. This is right now, you guys, on 247 Sports. Um, this is a 2019. Uh, it's called the Composite Recruiting Rankings. And I wonder if what I'm seeing right now, as you said, it was a 50-50, if it had anything to do with where they all ranked in the playoffs and the fact that Georgia didn't make it and the fact that Georgia just lost. So that's still that's still what they said from the get-go, or does it change? Is it a, a gradual change? or or well, it, Basically, they'll give like the players – they're young. They're not the best to keep it secret. So they'll give clues. Oh, yeah. They'll get fans. They'll go on visits. They'll see how they react. How, if they love the visit. Oh, I love this visit. It was amazing here. So they'll boost, boost it up a couple percent. Okay, but Oklahoma? That shit isn't really, sexy. It's all, really, it's really all just a guessing game. I mean, just facts. Because they can always change their mind. I mean, I told you guys two weeks or five, ten days ago that Manny Diaz, I don't know if he, that, I don't I think the contract right driving now. that bitch, but, you know. I know a kid right now, I'm not saying, I can't say any names because that would be extremely messed up since I can't Yeah, 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 don't do that, don't do that, but yeah, yeah, give me, give me some, give me some info, though. I know though. a kid right now that his brother played for a school, and they're saying on there right now that he's going to that school, he's not. Wow. And the kid's a monster. It definitely, it, it definitely can 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 go that way. I mean, I mean, some of these kids, especially nowadays, they 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 like what they see on TV. I mean, it's kind of a gift gift and a curse. First off, that a lot of these players that we're talking about, you guys, none of them know anything about Miami's great days except for what they see on Thirty for Thirty. But on the other side of that, they also can just type in YouTube and Miami Hurricanes, and they can also see boom, you know, so. Oh, I guarantee they have. Yeah, I mean, everybody. Is, excuse my language. Everybody oh, yeah. is shitting their pants right now with this move Miami just did. I have. I'm. I'm. I'm so excited. I've been so excited about Miami lately, man. You guys, I almost had a damn heart attack like the last four days, five days in a row. 2018, 2018, 2019. Yes, I know Nathan Applewood. Uh, let me touch on some of these real quick in chat. I apologize, you guys. We're talking on the phone. This is my boy Mike Steves. Um, he's a normal uh, 
caller. We do a lot of stuff. He texts me. He has my number. So we go over a lot of things. So I'm going to hit a couple of people. If you guys do not know me, you have not liked, subscribe, or comment, please let me know your name in the chat. Uh, let me know what's going on. Everything predictions, never seen hey, who you are. If you guys want to call in, if you guys want to call in, just put it in the chat. Don't hang up. You guys can make your phone call. Yeah, it, yeah, if anybody wants to call in, yeah, you just let us know. Um, Like I said, me and Mike do do a lot of chat, and I literally – made uh i let mike know i scheduled this live chat around his schedule because mike is the he knows about the 425 so um wait hold on dennis wilson just said so justin fields and hazelwood to oklahoma huh is that facts i don't, I don't know i just saw i just saw something oh never mind no that's queen from school i called all people from aiu Talking about school, what's going on? Uh, so yeah, no, 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 no. It's nobody from chat. All right. So Dennis Wilson said Justin Fields and Hazelwood to Oklahoma. Can I get a source? I'm not. Um, it's not that I don't trust you guys. I just like seeing for myself because I'm one of those people that. It hasn't happened yet. I'll tell you that right now. Those two. Uh, Why are they so close? Justin Fields went to Harrison High School, and Hazelwood went to Cedar Grove. They are nowhere near each other. Harrison High School is my high school rival, if you guys do not know. I want you to know, Comp. All right, so Dennis said no facts. Just saying, Dennis, I have heard that. I was just wondering if it was, like, right now going on because we're putting this shit together better than ESPN. ESPN, you guys give us a call on Cyber TV because y'all are a little slow, and holla at me and Mike. <laughs> All right, so... Justin Fields to Oklahoma, De Dennis, I, I could see that being three Heismans in a row. Justin Fields is good. Don't get me wrong. Of course, he lost to my high school last year. 46 to 45 was the final score. You got to remember, though, is he's got to sit out, too. Justin Fields able to play next nope. Year, or does he nope. He's got to sit. It doesn't matter if you're red shirt or not. The only way you can actually transfer and still play is if you get this. Oh, I mean, I mean, guess I guess he could get the okay from Georgia, but he played. No, I don't know if he actually got a red shirt. I think he. I only remember him in three games, and those are like the first three games. Right? He played the spring game. He played the first game of the year. Yeah, spring game don't count. But all right, so Nathan said only graduate transfers play right away. So if he was redshirted, he played to it. That's what I thought. I'll about to say, like, he's been in a lot of games, especially because you gotta remember, um, Fromm got hurt like game four and Fields came in. I mean, they still won the game, but yeah, so Ron Dugans didn't get Hazelwood and he tried to flip him at the SEC championship. Did he? Wait, Ron Dugans, though, that's our former tight end coach, right? Yeah. His red shirt got burned. Yeah, I thought so. So, yeah, so he's not red shirted. But so basically, if Justin Fields transfers, he's still not basically, technically, he still has to sit a year. I don't really. So what I would do is I push Justin Fields to get him to come to Miami. Just for Hazelwood? I want, that's who I want. That's facts. Now let's let's play hindsight 2020. I love this game. So let's we're gonna talk about the quarterback situation then. So let's say if all that goes into let's say we get Justin Fields and we get the Buffalo quarterback. His name is Tyree Jackson or something like that. Some I was reading it earlier. Sorry, you guys. Um, I'm not gonna dive into that because I'm just doing hypotheticals. What do we do with Jaron Williams? Does he transfer or what does he do? Does he transfer? I think he wants to go back to Kentucky anyway. He's from Georgia, though. If you know he's not going to start, never ask him to stay. Let him go and let him play. I agree. Don't hold on to that boy. You guys don't treat coaches like that. There's no reason for you to treat players like that. I agree. Okay. So then the Buffalo coach, uh, quarterback, and like I told you yesterday, if he does come, he only has one year. So we got to play him right away. Of course. That's the reason we'll bring him in. We would bring him in. Yeah. One year, that would be kind of nasty. Our offense is young, so we 
we need the experience to run the team. I agree. That would make our transition even better because regardless, it's going to be a little tricky when it comes to um, all these players getting used to the new cycle. And if we have a quarterback that already expects to learn a new system, then he'll be good to go. All right, so we bring in the Buffalo quarterback. Um, quick question. Quick question. If yeah. you can look this up for me, what offense did the Buffalo, did Buffalo run this year? Good, good question. Here we go. If you guys know in chat before I can type it in. Um, CJ Liberty says, Bleach Report, go go online and watch a video. Excuse me. I hate the way they do that. Every time I type in Buffaloes, it brings up Colorado Buffaloes. Not the Buffalo Bulls. Trash, dude. <laughs> what did you say? Trash. What, Colorado? Buffalo Bulls. I know. I mean, I that's why I'm surprised that like, he's been such a big recruit. All right. I'm honestly I doubt that I will be able to find this uh up front, but what I can do is I'm a I'm I'm gonna click on a video while we're talking. Similar to Apple right. Oh, they run spread. So yeah. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I agree. So that's interesting. So let's say we get him up in there, right? We get this big boy. That boy's big, you guys. He's 6'7", 240. I look today. He's a little bit taller than me and a little bit lighter than me, which is good, of course. I don't want to be fat like uh, Daddy Fat Sacks. Uh, but the boy reminds me of Cam Newton. Like, he'll run and he will run you over. Chat, if one of y'all could please look up this kid's 40 time, please let me know. Uh, he's quarterback. Run. Any anybody can get a 40 time for me? I'm pretty sure someone posted yesterday that he runs like a 4.6 or a 4.7. Oh my god, which isn't so bad for a quarterback. I mean, I run a four, I run a 2.46.7. That's like Cam Newton. That's what I'm saying. He's a lot like Cam Newton. They were 10 and four this year. At number one, six seven two forty five. I don't care if he runs a four eight at that speed. That I mean, at that size, that's six seven two forty five. Lord have mercy, I'm not. Nope, you're not running me over. Nope, not doing it. Not doing it. I'm too old for that shit. You're gonna blow my back up. Four seven. All right. So CT CT Liberty City Miami Hurricanes. I love you, bro. You always do these stats. Um, uh, yeah, I've seen his arm, man. That boy is a beast. I'm telling you, he reminds me of Cam Newton at Auburn. Uh, I remember Cam Newton. Cam Newton is from Georgia. If you guys do not know, he's from South Georgia around Union City. But yes, yeah, so uh C C T Liberty City says six seven two forty five. He runs at four seven. I told you, I told that's what I heard. I heard four six four seven. I'm not a lot. It's a linebacker. Mm-hmm. That is no, no, no. That's no, Mike. That's not an outside linebacker. That is a fucking striker. <laughs> you, that's a striker at quarterback. That is ridiculous. Six seven, two forty five running a four seven. And I want to tell you guys, I know we're throwing a lot of hypotheticals in the air, but if you guys have not seen what has happened to Miami in the last freaking week, there is no such as hypothetical. This is real life. This is us. You know what I mean? This is what we freaking talk about text all day, bro. We and you do, me and Mike text all day talking about this shit. It's real. If you don't do this, you're not a fan. You're not exciting. Yeah, exactly. It's so interesting. There's so many like, and I watch a lot of them, other YouTubers on on, and some of them only have like negative stuff to report. And me and you get on here, and me, and all our fans, we get on here and we start talking, and the news starts hitting us, and we run it in real time. You know, if I could do the ESPN bottom screen where that little red line comes across the top, uh, across the bottom mic, and we just start typing stuff in, that's literally how this shit goes. All right, so I want to let you guys know something. Exactly. 
Hi, my name is Hannah Storm, and we got new breaking news from the Miami Hurricane Camp. We're going to take you down to Mike in South Beach. I mean, that's dead ass what's been going on. And literally every stream we've done has been like that. All right, so we got two things we haven't finished. Let me go back to the schedule real quick because if we stopped the schedule. Yeah, we yeah, we 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 stopped the schedule uh due to the new quarterback hire, and then we stopped that due to the quarterback situation. Oh, oh, so we need to start over. Yeah, because you said that we possibly lose to Georgia Tech. Mm, you want a rebuttal? I'll give you a rebuttal. I will let you digress. <laughs> you got to because Georgia Tech now with this offense, and, and granted their offense is good, but there's no way they're going to be keep up with our fucking offense. Their defense is not good enough to fuck with us. Hold on, let me say what's a Liberty Miami Hurricanes with our wide receivers and tight ends and the running backs. Uh, all right. So, all right. So, I'm, Mike, let me bring you back to a situation I told I brought up yesterday. So now, does DJ Dallas go to slot receiver? I think so because Lingard's going to be our starter. Facts. Well, that, that all depends on how Lingard comes off of his, comes back from his injury. Anybody in chat want to bring that up? And what's the other guy's name? Um, Davis, Cam Davis. Anybody want to bring him up as well? Uh, we smashing all coastal teams. Nathan, I agree. We are going to smash the coastal. Anybody think I that? Think, I don't think Cam Davis will be a starter. He'll be a solid running back. Yeah. But he's a senior. You know what I mean? If you're a senior and you have Cam you Davis have is? A starter yet, you're never going to be the starter. Holy shit. I did not know that. I, You guys, and like I said, I, I do not... I do not get up on here and act like I know everything about Miami Hurricane football, but I didn't I didn't know that. I keep learning stuff from you guys. All right, so Cam is all right, so Cam is a freshman, but Dallas is what? So Dallas, everybody's saying Dallas is gonna go to the slot. Lingard is a sophomore. DJ Dallas is what? He'll be a senior next year or a junior? Junior, I believe. Yeah, I think you're right on that one. Sorry, I keep that's why I love having my Mac up because I got the dual screen. So I actually can do some stats up here. Let me see. My hurry. Uh, yeah, I got to get with you about um, how you set that up and crap like that, dude, because I've always wanted to have something like that. Hey, I got you. You know, I use a, little, a couple of different things. You've seen my shit crap out on me, though, uh, the other day when I was trying to do. I got the bells and whistles like Coop does where, like, the shit comes across chat and shit dances and you can do the cups and stuff. I tried to do that for you guys, but. My thing like, is I want content. To do something like go to the games and get the highlights and talk about after the game type crap. Oh right? yeah, I'm I'm an editor, so I oh, like editing. Next year, Real I'm getting season tickets, dude. I'm getting season tickets next year. So if you come down, dog, know you got a game. <sighs> Yes, Lord. I want to go to Florida game. I got a, I got another buddy of mine. I went to high school. He's a big Florida fan. He's well, like, Florida right. games in Florida, is it? it's in Orlando. Yeah, it's in Orlando. But get, oh yeah, you're right. You're right. But in in the stadium. Hey, I'm down, man. If I can do anything, I normally go to Florida every year for my birthday. My birthday's in June, which, of course, season won't start yet. But I would love to go to a game. And we're going to bring back up the schedule again. Apple White like jet sweeps. That's why DJ just slot. All right, so a lot of people are saying that, yeah, we're going to put um, DJ, Mr. DJ Dallas at slot receiver. I agree 100%. Um, I don't think he's a great running back. I think he just filled in. DJ Dallas will be a junior next year. Cam Davis, shit. Cam Davis is only going to be a sophomore next year. Are you shitting me? Yes, he is. Cam Davis will be a sophomore next year. He's listed as a freshman. 5'10", 190 freshman from Opelika, right around the corner from Rick Ross's house. I'm just saying. <laughs> Damn, Cameron Davis. I did not know he was a freshman. I thought he was at least a sophomore. I no, like we got some. Okay, and then we also got uh, a Robert Burns, 5'11", 215 freshman. Never heard of this guy. And, then, of course, we got uh, Mr. Flash himself, Lorenzo Lingard, six foot two o. Does anybody think Lingard would be a good slot receiver? What do you think, Mike? Do you think he'd be a good receiver? I mean, I don't know if he can catch. He's a better running back, but it really, like I keep saying, it all depends on how he comes back from his injury. 
What was the injury? Was it Achilles? Uh, Achilles. Yeah, Achilles heel or a knee or something? Knee. knee. Okay, I thought so. I knew it was something on the leg part. And that was that practice, too. That was the crazy part. Um, Man, don't let that boy be soft, man. Look, hey, this motherfucker coming there looking like damn. What's his name from watching the rest games? RG3. That He's so light, though. Six. Actually, he's not that light. He's six foot, 202. He looks so small on film. Man, they got Travis Homer listed at 5'11", 195. Damn, he was small. I mean, 195 ain't, like, ridiculously small, but damn. Homer looked like a bowling ball. So no, Davis like was a freshman all, all with... These, all these guys, they're freaking, like, six inches taller than me, and I weigh more than all of them. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm bigger than half of them Miami offensive linemen. I'm 6'4", 265. And most of our linemen, well, I don't know. I mean, most of the linemen are about, they're all in the six range, but you got a lot of them in the twos, man. 280s. Yeah, I'm, five, six, pounds. I'm a little bowling ball, bro. Yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, that's definitely bowling ball set. Uh, you got all our running backs beat, by the way, except for Gray, which is gone, which we ran him at fullback. I'm sorry, let me go back to that. Uh, we should use multiple running backs. Well, Nathan. If you if you not had heard, and I know you have, we got Apple White, and he likes to pass the ball. So we're probably gonna be throwing the ball a lot. Davis was a freshman. Okay. DJ can think play we both. Go away from the run, though, honestly, I say we we still do the run. We still keep it in offense, but because our run is where our run is Miami. If we can run the ball, we're gonna pass. The ball. Well, I can tell you right now, we're losing Gray who's the senior, and we're losing Travis Homer, who's going into the league. Um, okay and then, so that leaves us with Lingard, DJ Dallas, Cameron Davis, Robert Burns, and, oh, we got an Atkins, which I have no idea who this guy is, and a Larson, which I have no idea who this guy is, and they're both tiny. So, yeah, we probably will have to get away from the run and just throw the ball. Let's look at receivers. I, I'm I, and I told you how I like to build my team. I like tall receivers. I don't care how fast they are, and I don't mean like I don't want them slow, but I'm just saying I like fat, tall receivers I can catch. We've got six six, which is evidence in Joku, which I always thought he was going to be a tight end, like his uh, brother that plays on Cleveland now. Uh, five eleven, oh, six yeah, two, six five. Like when the Joku from Cleveland was a, uh, in Miami, he was a receiver. Was he? Yes. That makes sense. That ma- see, that makes sense to me because I was for some reason I just kept associating him with tight end, and then I was like, oh, but he had all this, and then he goes to the league. But he was he was kind of stalking. I mean, let's, let's look at his brother, six six one ninety six. That boy is skinny. Six yeah, six six six. He's he's, he's gonna have to say receiver. Yeah, uh, Mark Pope number six, which is my favorite number in the world. He's a freshman. I like Mark Pope, by the way. Yeah, I love Mark Pope. I ain't going to lie to you guys. I love that guy, and he wears my favorite number. Uh, Harley, which would be our only upperclassman. He's only 5'9", 160. As I told you guys, damn, he's tiny. 5'9", 160. He's the fastest receiver we got. I know, but he's probably only fucking 5'7 and a half, 5'8". He's going to be our slot receiver, I'll tell you that right now. That's what I'm saying. I would put him, and then I would put fucking DJ Dallas at slot, and then I would run with the big boys on the outside. Yeah. Give me, give me, well, Cater's gone. So, yeah, give me Njoku at 6'6". Six, six, give me Mark Pope on the outside. Amon Richards, they still have him listed on here, you guys. And if you guys do not know, he had a neck injury. And so he would never play football again, unfortunately, because I loved Amon Richards. Um, but, yeah, so that that would be my that would be my four receivers right there. Give me Harley slot, DJ Dallas slot. Give me tall ass and Joku on the outside, and give me Mark Pope on the other outside. Boom, those are my four. What about um, what's his name? High Tower. High Tower, six three two ten. Fuck, High Tower's a freshman. I thought he was a junior. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, and another another player. Look, we are learning this shit together. I did not High Tower. High Tower can catch though. He didn't. This is what I would do. All right, let me hear it. Let me hear. Two. On the outsides? On the outside. So X, all right, so X and Y. Okay, I got you. Pope and um, Harley as our slots. Okay. Start wing guard and have DJ Dallas as a backup for all of them. 
I think, honestly, I think that, uh, and I, I agree with everything you said, and the, and, and I just want to touch on this point. I think that Apple White is going to use uh, uh, DJ Dallas as that fucking, he's going to be that fucking, that that Joker, Joker, do, do spade poker game. You know what I'm saying? Like a uh, spades game. He's going to use him for everything. Like you said, I could see him playing slot. Uh, what did you say yesterday? Uh, you said uh, we could put him at Wildcat. I could, I could, I could see him in all that. I like that. I like that. Somebody said Mike uh, Malik Rozier got AR eighty two hurt. Yes, I know. Um, our Richardson season it career is over, and I apologize for that. We do have a lot of hybrid prayers. Nathan, uh, Nathan said, uh, "Who said it? Who said it? Who said it?" Apple White plays two backs. From what I see, all right, Terrence Link. Terrence Link, welcome to the page. I don't know if you have like subscribe to. That was nice too, because you're not having a tight end. Lingard and DJ Dallas in the backfield, and then you have the um, what's it called? Uh, Dallas and Dallas and Lingard in the backfield. Well, yeah, you got three. Oh, and you still, you still got Cam da- Cam Davis, which is the bowl ball. But let me let me let me break down the tight Cam ends real Davis quick. Isn't gonna start. I'll tell you that right now. He's not. I know. I agree. I agree. He's gonna be the best backup in the nation. I'll tell you that. Cam Davis. Everybody said he is dope. He's nice. Cam All right. is nice. I thought he was a senior. I seriously thought he was. Yeah. I don't know why I thought it was. I, I think you know what? I think in two years, mm-hmm. Cam Davis is gonna make us make us bite our fucking tongues. I think he's gonna be that come out Duke Johnson type I running back that comes out of nowhere and be like, oh, I forgot we even had that guy. I think that's gonna be a all right. Hey, he's got the name for it, dude. You sit back and look at his name, you be like, that's an NFL name, bro. Oh, all day. All day. I agree. Even though though names don't mean nothing about the league, you sit back and you're like, like Drew Brees. Drew Brees, you're like, that's an NFL freaking name. All right, so, so Mike, um, CT Liberty City said that, yeah, I know uh, DJ Dallas was a quarterback in high school. Uh, Mike Harley. Everybody's giving love to Mike Harley. How much love you got for Mike Harley? I really don't. I ain't gonna say I don't care for him, but Mike Harley, number three, five nine one sixty. He's gonna be our only upperclassman unless we get. He's a monster, bro. He's the only one. Him and um, what's his name? Travis Homer are really the only ones that made plays this year. Five nine one sixty sophomore from Fort Lauderdale. He's from the nine five four. Um, you know. Oh yeah, I already know that. I started my best friend from Fort Lauderdale, man. He's a Florida State fan, though. Unfortunately for him. <laughs> yeah, but he loves he loves when I talk about Miami. All right, so that's interesting. So yes, uh, our tight ends might get underused. All right, what do you think about this? Nathan said our tight ends might get underused with this offense. Yes. I agree. I agree, too. I agree. I don't know. Um, Jordan, number nine, he can transfer to a receiver, bro. He's fat. He's got speed. And the kids can catch. You got to think about it, though. Oh, yeah. Brevin Jordan? Brevin Jordan? I thought Brevin Jordan was a fucking receiver. That's how good he is. And then I was like, oh, someone told me, oh, no, dude, he's a tight end. I was like, damn. Uh, Brevin Jordan, if you guys do not know, 6'3", 245 freshman from Las Vegas. Oh, he played at – um. Car, what is that school called? Garwin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's yeah. What's what's that school called? Garwin, Harwin, or something like that. They were orange and blue. Uh, but yeah. What is that school called? Garwin. Harvin Garwin. It's got like two. Bishop Gordon. Thank you, Nathan. Yes, yeah. Bishop Gordon. Yes, they were in orange, orange and blue. Yeah. Okay, I know it. That I don't know. I like him. I like him at tight end. I I could see him switching over, but six three two forty five though. What'd you say? Six three two four. Jordan is our receiving tight end. I like him. Uh, that white boy is our freaking run blocker. The kid is not. He's not fast. Don't get me wrong. No, he's not. You're right. But he got hands. He's the black Gronkowski. I look. You just said it. He's the black Gronkowski. Just don't put the um knee brace on your elbow, and then we're good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying with the double joint jet? That's just hilarious. All right, so uh, anybody think Michael Irvin is done? Michael Irvin's – that's not junior. The uh, second. He don't even show up for practice. What would you 
I said, Michael Irvin the second, he don't even show up for practice. If you guys do not know, that's why you didn't see him as freshman year or his sophomore year. Michael Irvin the second was like missing shit. Irvin's done, Nathan said. I think he's done too. Look, do we sorry, even do we even need a tight end? Kick, here's my thing about that. About Michael Irvin. For them to kick Jeff Thomas off that team for being a dick and miss him not coming to practice, but Michael Irvin is on that team. But you know why they kept him. I don't care who's father. Thank you. I'm about father. to say. I'm, I'm about to say. You know why they kept him, though. I'm here to win games. Facts. I'm here to win games and make NFL players. That's what I'm here for. I'm not here to kiss your father's ass. Exactly. And this ain't fucking. I'll be honest with you. I think Michael Irvin loves Dallas Cowboys more than he loves Miami. And and that's no disrespect to any Dallas Cowboy fans. Did y'all see that shit with him and Stephen A. Smith? That shit where they showed and the the. the the director assistant had come over and wipe his damn jerry curl juice off him. Like Michael Irvin was livid about the damn hurricanes. I mean about the cowboys. But if he instilled that in his son number two, then he would have showed his ass up to practice. So I'm fine with getting rid of Irvin. I, that's yeah. why I you guys can disagree if you want, but I agree. And that's all players' kids because I've never I've never seen Except for the Mannings, of Eli and Let me stop you right there. And I'm not stopping you because I disagree. I am stopping you because I completely agree. If you guys think I'm bullshitting, go look at Michael Jordan's sons. Go look at them motherfuckers. They didn't do shit. One played at what Oklahoma or Ohio State, and the other one played at like FIU or some shit like that. Nothing. Thank you. But I mean, but but Mike, though, I mean, if your dad was fucking no, no, Mike, I got one for you. I got one. The Long family. Howie Long. Yeah, those are the only ones I really can think of off the top of my head. The Manning family. Manning and the Longs. Those are outliers, though. Like I said, someone said something earlier. I said, those are outliers, man. Like someone said shit, some shit about Shannon Sharp at Savannah State. I said, those are outliers. That shit would not happen in nowadays game. The next, the next family that's going to be doing it is the Bosa family. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, I, I mean, I would say they're already doing it. I, I mean, the Bosa family even is... Though, even though I don't think their dad plays the league, but... No, he did. No, he did. He did. He, he did. played for a little bit. Yeah, I think he played like two years for the Chargers or some shit. But yeah, no, his, you know the Bosa families is another legit one. Uh, you know what I want to see, and I know this is a little far fetched from now. Um, I want to see what the Breeze, the Breeze sons, and the Herb Street sons do, because you know Herb Street's got like twenty years from now. I, I, well, yeah, definitely the Breeze boys. <laughs> but you know the Herb Street boys, they're they both just walked on to some team in Florida. I don't know if it's FIU, FIU, whatever. They were talking about it. Um, no. Clemson. They walked on to Clemson. So yeah. I, I'm interested to in see what the Herb Street boys do. But I mean, I didn't think Herb Street was that good of a quarterback. Oh, what position do they play? Probably quarterback. I think one's a receiver, one's a quarterback. No playing time behind that quarterback they got now. Sunshine? Man, that boy got some pretty ass hair, boy. That boy, Trevor Lawrence. If you guys have not Man, seen, remember Trevor the Lawrence Titans. Pretty be playing football, but he's a monster. That dude's a fucking monster. He, he actually grew up. So Justin Fields and Trevor Lawrence. Their high schools. Once Trevor Lawrence went to uh, uh, Cartersville High School in Georgia, and Justin Fields went to Harrison High School, which is my arrival. Yeah, they're 15 minutes up the street from each other. They didn't play, though. They didn't play against each other because Trevor Lawrence actually played in 4A, and then Justin Fields played in like 5 or 6A. But yeah, right, like right on. But that hair is so fucking pretty, though, boy. I mean, I always, I always tell my girl, I said, man, if I was a white boy, that Justin Bieber hair. Dude, no crease, no nothing. Like it's like he don't even have like stickies. He ain't even got no Jericho. I'm telling you, the boy's a robot. Who got hurt? Miami. He who got hurt? Are you talking about Irvin? I'm sorry, Mike. I'm jumping back in chat because I try to keep up with some of the stuff. No worries, no worries. Jordan could play all four spots of receiver. I get that, but Miami Heat. Who'd you say got hurt? Oh, again, you guys. I want to welcome everybody to the chat. I know I don't, it's not a ton of people here in the chat, um, but I still love you guys. You guys are family and friends. Uh, my name is Director Chill. You're on the phone with Mike Steves. 
He's one of my boys. Me and him talk all the time. I, I mean all the time. I mean, he texts me in the morning, 7 a.m., 5 a.m., 1 a.m. It doesn't matter. I tell him, text me, call me. You let me know any Miami news because that's how I am with my fam. Um, but just let you guys know, this is Slapping TV. I will put my donation stuff in the chat if you guys feel the need, have the need, or want the need to donate. We're trying to do some bigger and better things. All right, so, Mike, let's get back to it. I'm excited, man. I'm so excited. Like, I honestly, I was only going to do this chat for, like, an hour, and then I'm so excited. I'm honestly not going to lie to you. I was not expecting us to get OC for another week. I, you know what? I would tell you, I would say that until I saw the interview. And boom. I wonder. You, you know what I want to say? If, if any of the Miami coaches or a fan base or players are watching, we love you guys. You guys are more welcome to come and join Simon TV. I don't care. Like, we love you guys. So, yeah, but yeah, Mike, same thing. I mean, I didn't. I, I, I'm saying, like, somebody come up in here. I got the blue screen, the green screen, the yellow screen. I got all types of screens. I got black screens. I got white screens. I don't discriminate. <laughs> hey, if anybody wants to talk and chat, you let me know. I'll put the number up. Like I said, I literally told Mike today, I said, Mike, let me know what time you get off work because when you get off work, I want you to call in because, Mike, if you guys have seen the name, originally – um. We were just going to be talking about the four-two-five defense. This is how all of this started. Now we have uh, an offensive coordinator, which is pretty nasty, by the way. That boy is nasty. I'm kind of glad we didn't yeah, get in Fedora from North my Carolina. Brother is, my brother's a bigger Miami fan than I am. Really? But he's not friendly. He don't like talking. He's just like, yeah, I'll root for my team. So it sounds like he should be a Georgia fan. <laughs> no, he, he coaches. I coach with him. You know, <laughs> really? You, you saw the press conference, right? Yeah, yeah. The 45-day one. Did yeah. you hear the one that said uh, his name was one of the inter, uh, question guys, Brandon with football hotbed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the organization that I work I, I Are I'm you with. serious? Man, that is yeah. mad dope, man. You guys are doing big things. I know you guys are seeing ashes on the chat. Let me say something. This like is I said, man, we're going to um Georgia for uh, not only is it's gonna be a freshman soft a freshman showcase, a sophomore showcase, and a junior showcase, all American game. Oh, you did tell me that. And like I said, man, you let me know when that shit's going down because I definitely would show you up. You know what I mean? We're we're taking the kids. We're, this is something more for like not this game. This game is the best of the best. We're trying to get we we send out the letters and the best of the best. We're trying to get them out there. So they can get seen and get more offers. But the way my organization works is we get the kids that don't get looks, that don't get the opportunity to be seen. That's dope, man. The not so good teams. We That's get dope, them and man. We build with them to where they can get seen. Give them an opportunity to go to college. Even if it's a D1 or a D2, a JUCO, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. College. If we can get them a full ride scholarship and help them and their family out, freaking that's right. All that matters for us, man. I mean, you never know, man. When I mess up my back, I end up going to a school in Georgia called West Georgia University or University of West Georgia. And uh, I lost all my scholarships. I had one from Miami, one from North Carolina, one from uh, Tulane. And I messed up my back. I went down there and medical registered. But there was a guy that was playing there. He ended up leaving West Georgia, which is still a, what we call a D2 school for all the overheads. He ended up going and playing for New York, um, the New York, uh, New York Giants, football Giants. So you okay. never know, man. I really love that you're doing that for the kids, man. A lot of people yeah, just man. they just they just put them in pass yeah, like go out there and hit somebody. Dude, and they're always all these kids are so especially down here in South Florida. Football is the heart, the heart of Florida. Yeah. And there's so many bad people out here trying to just mm -hmm. promise everything to these kids. And that's our number one. We tell these kids straight up. We're like, look, man, I'm not promising you anything, but I can promise you hard work. Uh, you know what? Promise you. That is a great thing. I mean, my son wants to play. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, Jimmy Hurricane, you bones. Yes. Apple White from Houston. I am. Which is crazy. I don't even know why they fucking fired his ass. I can guarantee you this. Houston is going to regret that. If you guys do not know, you remember the Georgia-Texas game that just happened a couple of days ago? You know where their quarter, their coach came from? Houston. And guess what? We just got the Houston's 
most recent head coach that they fired for some bullshit ass reason. He still took him to a bowl game. It's fucking Houston. Like, what do you expect? Man, I still can't believe, dude. I can't believe we got Apple White. What the hell? You are 100% right when you said you thought he was going to be a head coach somewhere else. I did too. I thought he would take the so Temple he, job or no, Missouri he, or some shit. Position. And I'm telling you right now, I'll tell you right now, I bet you. Because him and Manny are about the same age and they both have had success. 40 and 41. Right now, I think yep. Manny's going to be like, look, let's run this together. I agree. I don't see, I could see Manny Diaz as being one of those guys. And I'm trying to think of a coach that I actually remember like that. Um, I want to say, um, I, I would say Bill Belichick, but his reign has been so good. But there was a coach, and I can't remember off the top of my head, you guys, but there was a coach that I remember that going into the league, and then he hired a head coach, offensive coordinator, that was so good that he was like basically like, you handle your side, I handle my side. And I honestly see that. I, I can, still can't believe that we got Apple White, though. Hello, Linda Freeman. I hope everything has been good with you and your family. You having a good time? Um, but, yes, uh, that is crazy. So we get Apple White, who should be a head coach. Honestly. And after watching Baker, Baker, Bakers, is that right, Mike? Bake, bake, Baker, Bakers? Blake Baker. Blake Baker. I keep fucking up his name. I can tell you right now, he's going to do his first press conference. He's going to be like, oh, yeah, by the way, slapping TV, learn how to say my fucking name. I swear to God, that'd be the hilarious thing. But I think that after seeing that defense, and uh, Mike is the one who told me to check it out, that 425, which is basically a 43 with like a, 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 a loose cannon just running around doing whatever he wants to. Um, uh, we really have three head coaches on the team. I mean, I I I won't say that Blake Baker's should be a head coach. He could have took the Temple job though. And Apple White though. I mean, Apple White could have coached. I, I want to see who they're going to take pick up as like QB coach and uh, running back coach. But do we need one though? I mean, typically your offensive coordinator will run the coaches. I mean, we damn know it ain't going to be John Rick. And I apologize if you guys see this shit right here. And it starts getting crazy. This is called video noise. So what happens is the less light that you have, the more um, video noise you have. So if I crank up the light a little bit, you'll see it disappear. I just don't want to be like Stephen A. Smith and like I need to put makeup on. I only put makeup on when I do music video. Um, so, yes. Yo, Slap, check out Kane's warning. Good read, though. Miami Heat. All right, so. Let you guys know if you are new to the chat or if you just seen it, please like, subscribe, comment. Uh, my name is Director hey, Chill. Um, what up, man? Hey, I just picked up my girl from work, so um, I'm gonna jump in the chat, man. I'm, um, I, okay, if you want me to call you back after I'm done? Uh, when I get home, just let me know. Okay, hey, no problem, man. Hey, no problem. Hey, Mike, I always appreciate uh, the comments and everything that you do for me, but yeah, yeah, give me uh, hit me up whenever you get comfortable and stuff. All right, but again, that's my boy Mike. He was on the phone. I didn't realize he was on the phone that long. Uh, Mike is a, a good friend. All you guys are friends and family. Um, I will let you know. You guys got my phone number. You text, comment, the whole nine. Um, so yes, if you guys didn't know, our new defensive coordinator is Blake Baker's from Louisiana Tech. He runs a four two five. Which is not necessarily what you think it is. It's a four three, but they snatch that middle linebacker out and basically make him a strong safety. <gasps> so you have three safeties, two corners. That's your five. Two linebackers, four defensive linemen. If you add all that up, and I'm not good at math, but I believe that give you eleven. And then while we were going live in chat, Apple White, Major Apple White, the former coach of Houston Cougars, is now our offensive coordinator. He likes to run the spread offense, and he also likes to run fast. Quick plays. I won't say like Oregon, um, but, yeah, this shit's going crazy. Hey, Terrence, what's up? Kane77. Uh, Kane77 says it appears Apple White is a great offensive coordinator, but a horrible. Do you mean head coach, but a horrible coordinator, or – Vice versa. He's a great. I think. I, I think what you're saying is he's a great offense coordinator, but a horrible coach. 
our defense. Oh, we, we ain't worried about defensive coordinator. We got that taken care of. Um, and we did hire a defensive coordinator through Manny Diaz, but I mean, of course, Manny Diaz is not going to let the defense do anything besides what the hell Diaz says. So, um, again, you guys, my name is Director Show Simon TV. I do have my donation stuff up. Um, you guys can like, subscribe, subscribe, comment, pull nine. Um, please do. We're doing some updates for you guys. I got my new screen back here. My wife, her birthday was yesterday. Me and the girls made her a cake. She was so surprised. She loved it. I am a horrible baker. I can cook Chinese food. I can cook Mexican food. I can grill, barbecue, uh, saute, the whole nine. But you asked me to put a cake in the oven, I might burn that shit. But we didn't burn it. We didn't burn it. It was a beautiful, ugly cake. And my girls helped me decorate it. So, all right. So, Jimmy Hurricane you Bones, he was up. Uh, under Nick Saban did not know that. Um, Russell Harrison said he loves the hires. Does anybody not like the hires? Hires. We have Blake Bakers, uh, defensive coordinator, used to work with Manny Diaz at Louisiana Tech. And now we have Mr. Uh, Major Applewhite. Major is a dope name. There's only two people that I know that are named Major. One is T.I. son. Name Major, and the other one is Miami's new offensive coordinator, Major Applewhite. Yeah, give me a second because for some reason my mic just, all right, there we go. My mic just tried to say I need to try to put my battery on. All right, we're good. Anybody hate the hires? Let me know. My girls are playing Call of Duty or watching phones or something like that. We've been on for two hours. Man, it's crazy. Um, again, I did not expect to be going live. Um, Honestly, wasn't going to go live uh, until I found out the news about our new defensive coordinator. And while we were live streaming, we found out that we got an offensive coordinator. So what's left? Um, these hires are for the long run, too. Nathan, I agree. I think that every coach so far that many has hired, and I'm not going to talk about the defensive coordinators. I think they're young and up and coming. I think you're going to see most of our defensive coordinators go and take head coaching jobs. Um Mike said that was just on the chat. Major right was Florida safety a couple years down. Not bad. I just hope that he can recruit quarterbacks. I mean, Kane seventy seven. Do you think that was our problem? I mean, he said the two linebackers have to be good readers. Linda said the lights are the ghosts of Mark. Beck. The lights are the ghosts of. Mark. That's some Linda. That's not like a light. You've been watching Bird Box or something. Hey guys, I am a director, by the way. Um, I did watch Bird Box. It was pretty good. Um, if you guys have not seen it, you had Netflix. Please go and watch this movie called Mr. Church. It's with Eddie Murphy. I'm telling you, when I say a tearjerker, this fucking movie is phenomenal. Um, but anyhow, your break quarterback. I don't know. In ten years, I think you're gonna see. And I'm not going to speak for whoever we haven't hired yet, but I think in 10 years you're going to see that every coach that Manny Diaz hires is going to be a head coach somewhere else. Um, Terrence, you had an uncle? Uh, you, you had an uncle major? That's dope. That's a pretty dope name, though. I told my wife we'd have one more kid if I can guarantee it'd be a boy. Other than that, hell no. We got three girls. I got three beautiful women up in this house. But if we have another girl, I'm going to buy me seven male dogs. They're all going to be pit bulls. I'm this serious. Major play quarterback. Oh, that's where I knew him from. Yes. So, yeah, major play quarterback at Applewhite. That's where I knew that name from. From 1998 to 01 during the Miami. Well, getting towards the end of Miami ring. And I am getting tired, you guys. I'm not playing. And we're going to keep it on here longer. I'll give you about five, ten more minutes. It is like 6.30, 6.40. My wife's home, so we're going to hang out. But, yes, um, anybody not excited about the hires? K-77, Miami looks good to all quarterback. Thank you. I think, Mike, you. I agree. And I was Mike that was just on the chat. Honestly, I think Miami looks to, looks good to any player. You, you can I get a one in chat if you remember Alabama before Nick Saban got there? Don't worry. I'll wait. Put a one up if you remember 
Miami's uh, or Alabama's scores or ranking or um, schedule before Nick Saban got there? Put a one up if you know. So CT Liberty says he know. Before Nick Saban, though. Not, not with. Before. I don't. I remember Nick Saban at LSU. I remember Nick Saban at, excuse me, Miami Dolphins. And then I remember Nick Saban, the one that's in the last, what, eight years, has literally took them into the playoffs, BCS, for the last, what, seven. Uh, he was a quarterback at that time. Yeah. Thank you. Jimmy Hurricane U Bones. If you guys do not know Jimmy Hurricane U Bones, you guys take a little time out. Click on his page and y'all go and uh, subscribe to his channel. Hit that like button. I'm going to get him um, set up so he can do his stuff too for Miami because I do so much stuff that. Uh, right now, this is the slowest quarter of the year for me and my business. Um, we're actually getting ready to start doing like prom and Valentine's Day and Mother's Day pictures and shit. So it's kind of boring as well. But um, anyhow, uh, but yes, give Jimmy Hurricane U Bones a like and, sus- uh, and a subscription. Uh, we're going to get him up and running as well, just like Coop got me up and running. And, um, you know, we're going to do stuff as a family. They say new coaches need to stay five years. Miami, he says new coaches need to stay five years. Should we just lock him in the contract? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Miami Heat. Miami Heat, I'm talking to you and you only. Are you a Temple fan? Because I bet the fuck that's what they're saying right now. <laughs> new coaches need to stay at least five years. Yeah, I bet you wouldn't be saying that. We in here with fucking... Dudu Diaz, and I don't mean like Manny Diaz. I mean like, like some coach from like Miami South Central, Florida Gables, Pompano Beach, Key West High School as our coach. I bet you'd be thinking a little bit different then. Talking about need to stay five years. Uh, nobody wants four. Miami, he said, yeah. Miami, Miami, he did you want Manny? I'm pretty sure I've asked you this before, but I'm not sure. But but did you want Manny? I know a lot of people are all about the players and stuff like that. So I mean, I have no problem with that. I never. I mean, I was I was a. I would say I was like a three, maybe a four star player, six four, two oh one. I ran a uh, a four five point six forty. I did hurdles, high jump, long jump, triple jump in high school. I wasn't like a dope, dope player. Um, but if I would have went to Miami for the coach, and I probably would have been kind of pissed off with that. Uh, Terrence says they were trash. Shula was the coach before him. Manny going to be here for a long haul. This is dream. Yeah. I know a lot of people say Mark, this is Mark Rick's dream, dream job, but yeah, I realize that. His son, as you guys do not know, or you, or you already know, his son is already a grown man with a wife. And I think they have, I think Mark Rick has two grandkids. And then he has two daughters that are Georgia. So Mark Rick, dream job, um, he got at the end of his tenure. tenure. So, uh, but yeah, I, I believe man, this is Manny's job. Manny has three sons. I think he said he had three sons and a daughter or two sons and a daughter. Uh, so, yeah, I believe, yeah, this is Mandy's dream job. So, you guys never know. Um, but anyhow, it is 641. I can't be here on, on night talking to you guys. I'm going to put my information back in chat for you guys. Please like, like, subscribe, comment. My name is Director Chill from Cypher TV. If you feel the need, please donate. Actually, I got something in the works for you guys. We're getting some slapping TV shirts with the new logo. If if you haven't seen it, we had the one just the one that you see in the corner with the slapping with the triangle. I got the new one that's the slapping with the TV on it. Um, so we're gonna give out some shirts, but we're gonna have to raise a little money to do it. But I just want to say thank you guys and happy new years. Um 
I hope you had a blessed one. And Miami's just getting better. I don't even expect to be doing all that stuff, but uh, it seems like every day, turn, Mike said, turn up a little while. Mike, actually, I would love to turn up, but my wife, I think she had a long day at work, so she's laying in the bed. So this is my new setup, and you can't see on the other side of this. My wife's probably over there naked. Baby, you naked over there? All right, well, she's not naked over there. <laughs> but I just want to say thank you, guys. And um, please, oh, yeah, Jimmy, I got you, man. We're going to get you set up. I think we should be literally one big happy Miami family or one just big college football family or just one big-ass fucking family. I preach love. I don't preach none of that bullshit. I don't preach fake news. I don't preach hate. I don't preach walls. I don't preach none of that shit. If you guys have not seen my children, uh, they're of all colors. And I had a beautiful woman behind me, so. Uh, and I love her to death. She's my best friend. But I just, and she's the one who lets me sit on here and talk to you guys all the time. So I just want to say thank you guys. And Miami's doing good and doing great. Here, I'm about to have my daughter come over and say good night, you guys. Come on. Say good night. Good night. Wave. It's my daughter Bella. She's in my scary movie. Um, the dark uh what's it called? The dark cloud. She's the one that is has the white face on and all stuff. Yeah, she does the scary part. She is kind of scary too. Say hey, everybody, I love you. Everybody, I love you. Up in there. I holler, man. I love you guys. Good night. Have a good one. I sure do want another shot, bye.